Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! said that. Dad the internet says, so we actually gonna man up and drink tonight? Question mark. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I see you. I see you, dad internet. You know, I feel like I'm kind of the dad on the internet, on the internet right now. But I see you. The mods see you too. Okay. We're gonna man up. The stomach pain is gone. We're actually gonna be drinking some good vibes His beer. And if you keep up that attitude, you're gonna have to get off my lawn. Okay? The mods are gonna ban you. Straight up. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're here. Thank you guys very much for being here on this fine thirsty Thursday. I got the I got the the baby monitor over here. We actually are in straight dad mode. My kid is not in his bed right now. It might not be a red alert though. Okay, his door is open. He's definitely not in his room. Oh boy. All right, we'll give it a minute. Maybe he's just peeing. Maybe he's just going pee for the 16th time in the last uh 27 minutes. That that, that could be it. But there's a good chance I have to go um, address this situation in about 30 seconds. Painful's here. What the fate of it is? He says, just get my jerky going, then I'll be on. What the? Is that, is that code for something? You're just getting your jerky on? 
Is that a meme? Or is that like internet? Is that an inter internet term that I don't know about? I'm just getting my jerky. Am I supposed to say that in an accent? I'm just getting my jerky going. You getting your jerky going? Uh, dude, I'm lost on that one. Mini man with the Twitch Prime sub, thank you. D man with the tier one sub, come back for nine months, thank you very much. Oh my God, he's still not in his bed. Uh, the devilish with the 100 bitty says cap, Captione and Coke with a hazy IPA chaser. Oh my God, that's a combo. Does, to be straight up honest, it doesn't sound like a good combo. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta see what my uh, four-year-old is doing because he's still not in his room. I'll be right back. Major red alert upstairs uh, on the second floor. Um, my four-year-old had to come out of his room because he said he's smelling soda. We had to take care of it. We had, we had to investigate. We had to make sure that the house wasn't going to burn down or anything. Um, but apparently there's a soda smell upstairs. Um, and he's going to have to figure that out for himself because I don't know what's going on. But, uh, oh boy. Fire medic with a fit of it is. Says trying to help my eighth grader with her math homework. Rip. Best of luck. That that's like that's like pre-calculus, isn't it? Yikes. Vinny's back with the fit of bitties. Vinny, thank you very much for buying my kids ice cream. We did eat ice cream yesterday, courtesy of you. I appreciate it. Says just got home from work. Gonna fix dinner and grab a beer. I'll be lurking though. That'll work. Never been on a ZTT stream before. Well, you're in for a. Uh, a good one tonight. We're actually building something kind of unique tonight. Uh, soccer guy with the Fitty Bitty says, Gotta secure my Fitty Bitty seat. The Fitty Bitty committee, we, as you guys know, we went through the renovations recently. We got some extra seats in the house. Okay, you guys should be good to go. Don't worry about it. Akira with the Fitty Bitty says, I have to make a drink. Yes, make a drink. Uh, painful, yep, with the jerky. Don't know what that means. D Man, I think I already said. The devilish. Ev, Ev with the Fitty Bitty says, Hello, Zach. Hello, Ev. How you doing? Shauner also. Says, when are we getting? Oh, did that one run? Yeah. Watch out, watch when are we getting the basketball hoop back? That's a good question. So, I mean, it's literally right there. I still have the basketball hoop. You guys just don't have it. It's it's literally right there, being used for my kids. Uh, Darso with the Twitch Prime sub, thank you. PC Attic with the fit of bitties. Says, I also forgot to mention that I have my ZTT T-shirt on right now. Let's go. Very nice. I don't. Qualsack with the fit of bitties. Says Fitty Bitty Committee, let's go hype train. Mark also with the Fitty Bitty says Fitty Bitty Committee. Numpty, our previous giveaway winner, uh, with the tier one resub, come back for seven months. Thank you, Numpty. PC Addict also with the 100 Bitties says another day, another Thirsty Thursday, another stream for the OGs. Also, another entry to the double Fitty Bitty Committee. Let's go. Wow, you guys are hyped. Zach, you're literally my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, I mean, dude, there's a lot of YouTubers out there, man. <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. Let's go. Uh, Queso. 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 Queso Goblin. 101 with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Uh, Royo6969 with 100 biddies. Wow. If you would... You had, you, had, you had the chance, man. You could have sealed the deal with the 69 biddies right there. You kind of messed that one up. I'm going to need you to get Dow back in for Thursday, Thursday. Poor favor. All right. Let's go. Queso. Queso Goblin. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Up. Uh, mi, mi Espanol, mi Espanol es no bueno. Es no bueno. Ab, hablo en Espanol un poquito. Lo siento. 
Uh, are you going to start playing Fallout 76? No. No, I keep getting ads for it on Reddit, though. My Reddit feed is nothing but Fallout ads uh, ever since I started watching the TV show. How many people... Type, type in chat how many episodes of the new Fallout uh, series you've watched so far. I am only one episode in, but I really, really like it. I really like it. I think it's pretty good. And I've only played, like, maybe five total hours of Fallout. Or maybe ten. Zero, four, two, eight, zero, 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 sixty-nine. Nice. Every episode. Zero. All of them. Eight. Eight. How many are there? Are there eight? There's a lot of eights in there. Big fat goose egg. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, like all of the games. Yes. I think I have maybe ten total hours. And that's only because I started playing Fallout 4 uh, like three months ago. <laughs> watch out, watch I have very out, little time to Fallout. But... During those first 10 hours, I've picked up on a lot of what that show is trying to do. Uh, like, be an Easter egg, you know, type of thing. I really like the show. It's good. Shauna is here, too. Yeah, Shauna's in the house. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. What is a good game I should start playing? Lawn Mowing Simulator. I got a video coming out about Lawn Mowing Simulator here soon. I think you guys are going to like it. Big and Tattooed with the 3X 100 biddies. Thank you, Big and Tattooed. Much appreciated. I'm getting a Fallout ad right now. <laughs> nice. I wish you knew that I was laughing at you, but you don't know because you're watching said Fallout ad. <laughs> uh, Grave, Graves... Atsuma with the 100 biddies says Sons of the Forest is good. Oh, look at that. Crowdsourced game recommendation. Let's go. Yeah, that way I don't, I don't have to give any recommendations. That'll work for me. That'll work. Um, so today, we're going to be building a budget gaming PC sub $500. But we, for the first time in like way too long, we're actually building a PC that's a little off meta, okay? We're not use all of my PC builds in the, for at least a YouTube video have all been using meta parts, and it's like I, I mean we're caught up in the whole pure performance kick right now. If you do a pure performance gaming PC, you gotta use the meta parts. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable not using the meta parts, but for this build guide, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch we're just we're being a little casual. We're going a little bit off meta, okay? So what parts are we not allowed to use in an off meta gaming PC? What do you guys think? What parts are we not allowed to use tonight? Cuz I mean we I mean we're still using good parts, don't get me wrong. But they're just not the typical parts that we've been using. 4060 is a 4060 meta? The 5700XT exactly. We can't use that. The Ryzen 5 3600, we can't use that. Correct. Wow, YouTube on point over there. YouTube chat on point. NVIDIA GPU? NVIDIA's not meta. What are you talking about? 4090? Yes, we also can't use a 4090. Considering this is a sub $500 build, that would not work. And his name is John C. <laughs> P break number 18. Okay, we're good. He's, he he went back to his room now. Yeah, we can't use a 5600 either. Correct. We cannot use a 7900 XTX. 6600 is meta? Question mark. I, I, yeah, I would consider it. 7500F and 7700 XT. Yes, we definitely cannot use that. All right, I'm gonna give you. A, we usually don't do this. The CPU and GPU combo that we're going now. Now, now don't. No, we're not gonna go crazy here. We're not using like off the wall products here. We're just not using the typical meta parts that we normally talk about, okay? Here's what we're doing. Who knows what this is? I made a video about this. Who knows what GPU this is? Hint, this is a $500 gaming PC. So this can only be a certain amount of things. Who knows what this is? I made a video on it. Who can get it first? Nope, not a 580. It looks like a 580. Mm, this brand does. Oh, there it is. I see it. V8. V8 over in Twitch chat. This is an RX 6600M. 
RX 6600M. I'm assuming, based off of how many people did not answer this correctly, you did not see that video. This is a super impressive graphics card. I love this thing. So I will give you the very quick rundown. Basically, some Chinese companies like Milsey, they take the mobile version of a graphics card, 6600M, and they build it into a full-size desktop card. But one of the most limiting factors of a mobile GPU is just heat and power. Like the chip itself is very capable, but in a laptop, they're very um, constrictive. So when you give that chip a full desktop grade cooling solution and full power delivery, this thing is a beast. So this actually tested in some games better than our RX 6600. It is crazy. I think on average, it was like 5% slower, which is still really, really good. Uh, but some games that actually beat the 6600. And what's crazy is this only costs 150 bucks. <laughs> That's wild. An RX 6600 costs $200 uh, brand new. So the fact that this only costs 150 is wild. This is crazy price to performance. So what we're pairing that with is, we've used this a ton, but not lately, the i3 12100F. Boom. Now, if I was using my normal meta parts and I wanted to min-max this build, probably would have went AM4, probably would have went 3600, 5500, or 5600. But we're mixing things up today. We're going with an Intel 12100F and an AMD RX 6600M. And the total cost of the build is $496. All brand new parts. $496, all brand new parts. I'm pretty excited. We're making a, a full YouTube video on this. What do you guys think? Fearless Wolf, Wolf with the Twitch Prime sub, thank you. Painful with the fit. Oh, wait. Painful's already in the fitted bitty committee. He says 6600 I am with the fitted bitties. Thank you. Uh, Grave again with the 180 bitties. Thank you very much. It's Paper with the tier one sub. Thank you. Uh, Queso Goblin again. Oh, now gifting out a tier one sub. Gifting out a Queso sub. Let's go. Thank you, Queso Goblin. Much appreciated. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch Storm out. Shadow with the Twitch Prime sub. Shadier Cal uh, Calib with the Twitch Prime sub. Big Rhino 77 with the Twitch Prime sub. Any relationship to the Rhino in Spider-Man, by the way? If you could send me a DM, that'd be great. Uh, Joe Huckins with the Fitted Bitties, thank you. Much appreciated. You guys are going off per usual. Oh my goodness. RX 6600M is a downclock 6600 meant for laptops, right? Um, I wouldn't say, yeah, yes, yes. That is a good way to put it, correct. It is probably slightly downclocked, but I don't remember. You watching the draft next week? Um, I'll watch day one. I'll, I'll, wa I'll watch the Steelers pick number one, and then that's about it. After that, I will watch all of the highlight videos that come with whoever the Steelers draft. There's always like a hundred different highlight videos to watch on the players they draft. I'll watch those, but for the actual draft itself, I don't typically tune in for that. Um, but, but I'll probably, well, I think the draft is always on a Thursday too, right? The draft is usually on a Thursday when we're streaming. So it wasn't too long ago. I was sitting right here in this very spot and I, I had the projector up on the NFL draft. And while we were live, the Steelers drafted Kenny Pickett. I was very excited <laughs> at that time, um, but things have changed, and uh, he can go. Uh, he can get on out of here. He can go to Philly. If I don't know, will you write my PC build? Not tonight. No, we do not write PC builds on Thursday, Thursday. We cannot do that. We don't have enough time. Maybe the soda that your kid smelled was the beer. Yeah, but I mean, he is—he's two floors above me. Um. But you still might be true. Like, I got a vent right here. I don't know if the vent, like, maybe circulates to his room directly or something. I don't know. Um, but when I walked up there, he did say, like, Dad, what are you doing? So I'm pretty sure he heard me. And I told him, I was like, 
I'm working. I'm working, little boy. I'm making some videos. I didn't tell him the whole live stream thing. I don't think his brain can comprehend that yet. Custom Thirsty Thursday cup? Oh, dude, we got Thirsty Thursday merch for today. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it from that angle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we got we got Thirsty Thursday mugs. We got, I mean, we got ZTT mugs. We have other stuff, too, just not within arm's reach. <laughs> I don't really promote the merch. I, I've never really taken merch seriously. I appreciate when people buy it um, because I know they're mostly buying it for the support. Um, but we just we just do like the typical drop shipping uh, with uh, like Teespring and uh, Streamlabs sometimes. Um, we don't ever like actually design the products ourselves. We just do the print on demand type things. Um, oh, and also about today's build, the color scheme of the build. I've done this before, but it's been years. The color scheme of today's build. John Cena, you're gonna have to wait. Relax. Is gonna be based off of this guy. So this is the Intel stock cooler, which will be perfectly fine for the 12100F. We're not overclocking the 12100F's not a hot CPU. We'll be able to cool it perfectly fine with this. Don't don't freak out. But the color scheme of the the case of the build is going to be based around this light blue because check this out boom let's go we got some light blue cable extensions pairing with the blue of the intel cpu oh i hope not 100 percent sure but i hope we will uh be able to use the rgb um fans to sync up with this color if not we'll do white which will still look good uh but yeah this is just gonna be a off meta build a fun build a little, little fun 496 dollar build d-man gifting out tier one sub thank you very much painful with the fit bit he says we need a new mod mug mine is quite worn and we have two mods that don't have one should i hit up the ztt artist for another design or should i just ship out new ones the, our mods have mo a mod on duty coffee mug and a shirt just chilling with the tier one sub. Thank you. Vinny Boy with 100 bitties says, ended up with an old fashioned and now I need to make the wife I drink. How do I, How did I get here? So, well, it's Thirsty Thursday, so that's how you got here. But I'm on an old fashioned kick. If I order a drink going out, I'm going to order an old. Really need to figure out the quickest, cheapest, well, not, not cheapest, but affordable, reasonable, reasonably priced. Um, old-fashioned recipe for the house because I know you got to get like some sort of syrup I think you need like a mortar and pestle you know you, I, I think like an apothecary could help you know someone like that with the, in the profession I don't know um, but I'm, I, I need a simple streamlined repeatable old-fashioned recipe so feel free to send that my way who's the giveaway winner all right we'll talk about the giveaway real quick and then we'll start building this is the giveaway PC that we are Given away right now. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I'm sorry. But this is only Twitch. Okay. If you want to watch on YouTube, that's fine. Just open up a Twitch tab. Chat. Uh, tab. Oh, my God. Uh, earn the points while you're watching. You can continue to watch on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Here's all the info that you need. to. Uh, nope. That's the info for the last giveaway. <laughs> to get to the info, just type in exclamation point giveaway. Or go to zackstechdrop.com slash giveaway. Don't all do it now. Only one person has to do it. And then you can all click on the same link. It's fine. And then that'll take you to this webpage. Okay. Look, we got a thousand people entered. Uh, 2,900 tickets have been purchased so far. Over here is all the information you need to know. It shows you how many giveaway points you have. How you earn points. You earn 10 points for every 10 minutes you watch the stream. You can buy your tickets right here. Bada bing, bada boom. That's it. Look, I have a thousand giveaway points right now. If every giveaway ticket is a hundred points, I can afford 10 tickets. Look, I'm going to buy my tickets to my own giveaway. I'm going to buy 10 tickets. Boom. Just went up by 10. The total was a thousand. I now have 11 tickets. It's as easy as that. That's all you got to do, man. We run these giveaways on the live streams at all times. Um, and we run them for about a month long. That way you have a month worth of streams. 
to uh, earn the points. And, you know, you do get the extra points for sending the biddies, the gifted subs and whatnot. But since we run them for a month, that still gives people who don't even spend a dollar uh, ample time to collect a lot of raffle tickets. And it's just a raffle. The more points, the more tickets you have, the higher chance you have at winning. But all it takes is one ticket. How do you contact a winner? It'll be a Twitch DM. But we also, um, like, we announce it on the stream. <clears throat> so on the date that we decide to close this, which will be in May. Um, cheers. I'll drink to that, bro. Cheers. Thank you for those biddies. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> um, whenever we announce the giveaway, we're going to also, that same day, be building the next giveaway. That's how we do it. You mean Whisper? Yeah, sure. Whatever the Twitch DM slash Whisper slash private message system is. That's how we do it. We are always running a giveaway for a PC build here on Twitch. Okay, now we can start building. Now we can start building. Here's our motherboard. Honestly, this one we were just trying to get rid of. B760M dash P. This was not like purchased specifically for this project, this was just something that we had in the studio. IO shield. I don't know why this isn't on here. We must have tried to use this for something. I don't really know what happened. Um, but for the build guide, you'll be able to put, you know, any B660, B760 will be fine. Um, yeah, not really sure. Hopefully no p pins are bent. No, we're good. Yeah, I don't really know why we did that or what or what we did with this, but here we are. Yeah, I mean, it looks good to me. I don't really see anything wrong with it. Do you guys? No, it looks good. Just kind of making me nervous. Generic Eggs Dad with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Shauna with the Fitted Bitty says, if you only knew a bartender. Yeah, do you think you could hook me up? I do know a bartender. DJ Ava with the 100 biddies. Let's go. Jay's Daycare. Oh, that sounds useful. With the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. All right. CPU going in. Boom. 12100s in. Gonna latch that baby down. Oh. Boom. Oh. Oh. Whew. Oh, my God. I almost freaked out. I thought that... I didn't have a backplate, but you don't need a backplate for these. Wow, it actually has been a really long time since I've installed one of these. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been a really long time. We need a flathead screwdriver, don't we? Wow, I'm almost forgetting this. When is the Facebook Marketplace video? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's coming out tomorrow. It's all it's fully edited, ready to go. Thumbnail artist already sent over the thumbnail. Video has been edited for days. Mark already reviewed the video. It's coming in hot tomorrow. Yep, be on the lookout. What's the motherboard? It's the MSI watch out, watch Pro out, watch out. B660M, B760M dash P. Okay, yeah, forgive me if I look like a noob, but I actually haven't installed one of these for a while. <laughs> I used to install these so much. Yeah, just gonna press on opposite corners. Uh, we got three good clicks. One of them wasn't a great click, but hopefully we can just tighten that down. And oh, this. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Or is that already in? Are these like the old ones? Maybe. Do you need to twist these? Yeah, I need a bigger flathead. It's been a hot minute since I've used these. It's been a really long time, actually. It felt awkward just holding it. Okay, there we go. I think it's just like a quarter turn, right? Yeah. To lock that in. That's all you gotta do. Some of these aren't even going. I mean, it's on there. I think we're good. There we go. Are they locked in on the side? Oh yeah, they're good to go. Nice. Yeah, wow. I feel this feels so foreign. 
when does the giveaway end? It's going to be in May. We don't have an exact date. Um, I've been kind of slacking on, on choosing a date, to be honest. We, we will typically have the date figured out by now. Um, I just don't have the date. It, it's going to be in mid-May. Early to mid-May. It won't be too late. We usually run the giveaways for like five to six weeks. Why no contact frame? Um, because this is a 12100F. So a contact frame, I really like them. I recommend them. Um, if you're doing a build that you're worried about the temperatures, because they do work. They're fully proven to work. Um, but the 12100F does not get hot, <laughs> even with this thing. Uh, so I am not worried about it at all. The If you don't know, the contact frame basically replaces that metal retention system that I pushed down on. And it evenly screws down these rectangular shape Intel LGA 1700 uh, socketed CPUs. But for a 12100F, like I said, uh, you definitely do not need to spend the money on a contact frame. Although they're not expensive. If you buy like the slightly off-brand ones, I think they're like 11 bucks or something. They're not terrible. Thermal paste, it was pre-installed. Yeah, I actually forgot to show you. I usually show you guys so you don't ask that question. I forgot though. Yeah, the stock cooler came with a pre-install. All right, here's our RAM. We got some Mushkin Redline. This is just a very typical DDR4, two byte, eight gigabyte kit, probably 3,200. Oh, 3,600. Just an all black kit. You know, we only got $500 to spend, so we're just going for a very minimal, clean aesthetic here. Nothing, nothing over the top. Same thing for the SSD. Definitely not over the top. This is the Clev Crass uh, C910, I think. What does it say? Yeah, C910. This is a Gen 4 NVMe drive. This is a very budget Gen 4 NVMe drive. Rated entry level on the PSU tier list. Nothing to write home about. It's typically one of the cheapest Gen 4 MVP. Know your role and shut your mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk. Adit with the 500 biddies and no message. He just wanted attention. Thank you, Adit. Much appreciated. Manu with the 100 biddies says, if you have a streamer come to you and ask what type of PC you could build them for a $3,000 budget, what would it be? Um, a 4080 Super and a 7800X3D. I mean, you could do that for less than $3,000, uh, but that'll give you a, a ton of wiggle room. Um, if you really wanted to, you, uh, no, you actually, yeah, you could fit a 4090 in there if you really wanted to, but... I probably wouldn't do that. Um, yeah, 7800 X3D and a 4080 Super. Specifically NVIDIA in this case, just because they are a streamer. And there are objectively good benefits um, for streamers and using NVIDIA. A little bit lower FPS per dollar, as we know. Um, but for the content creators, I, I still always recommend NVIDIA. Uh, Lozy GG with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Adit. Oh, yep. 500 biddies already got you. Thank you very much. A uh, goat with the tier one sub, much appreciated. Vinny boy with another hundred bitty says, "You don't have a mortar pestle. You can use simple syrup." I don't even know what simple syrup is. I every, every time I get to that part on the old fashioned recipe, I'm like, "Is the syrup that's in my fridge advanced or simple syrup?" I I, I don't understand. Maybe is maple simple? I I don't know. I have watch maple. Out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I don't think. I, yeah, I don't get it. Um, oh, and then, see, this is how you know you're dealing with a, um, a drink snob. No offense, Vinny. So not only do we need the whole simple advanced syrup thing, but then he says you need an ag an Angostura bitters. Type a question mark in chat. If you've never heard of Angostura bitters, type a question mark in chat. So you need those. You need simple syrup, whatever that is. Oh, oh, hold on. There's one more Go thing. Roll and shut oh, your wait. mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk. Oh, wait. Dolly with 500 bitties. 
When is the drink with me giveaway? When is the drink with me giveaway? I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> what, are you, what are you asking? When is the drink with me giveaway? <laughs> I don't know. Right now? The drink with me giveaway? I don't know. Okay, thank you for the 500 biddies. So then, on top of the simple syrup and the Augusturo bitters, you need what's called maraschino cherry. Then you need an orange peel. And then whatever good bourbon and whiskey you have. This, this is exactly why I haven't gotten to the point where I can make an old-fashioned yet. Because every single easy recipe I see, it's just covered in words that I don't even know how to pronounce. That was not helpful, Vinny. Let's try that again. Thank you for your hundred bitties, though, but that was not helpful. Rory with the fitted bitties, thank you. Welcome to the fitted bitty committee. Uh, Ribs with the three dollar and thirty three cent dono says, "Is an RTX forty seventy Super Dual OC Edition with a fourteen seven hundred KF a good setup? If you want Intel and Nvidia, then yes, that's a great setup. Great fourteen forty P setup. Can't go wrong. It's PCH with the fitted bitties." Says, what are your current lifts? Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up, man. I mean, I got all the lifts. I mean, I've been tracking every single lift for like eight years. All right, what do you want to know? Look, I got all the lifts, man. I didn't lift today. Today was a boxing cardio day. Look, I I I got all the lifts. That was that was Wednesday. We did a back and buy. Or a pool workout, I should say. Tuesday was a push day. Sunday, what was Sunday? Sunday was weak point and arms day. The day before that was leg. I, I, I mean, what do you want to know? I got uh, when you click on this. I I mean, I got all the weights. I got all the weight. I mean, there's my lifts, bro. There is that good enough for you? I got all the lifts. They're all right here, man. All right, we. I mean, I could do this all day. Look, I got, I, I got all the lifts for days, man, including notes. You let me know what lift you want to see. <clears throat> and his name is John Thank you, John. Cena. What app is that? It's called Rep Count. I love it. I, I don't even think it's free anymore. I definitely got it when it was free. I don't think it's free anymore. I've seriously had this for like almost a decade. Chief Financial with the Switch Prime sub. Thank you. Enjoying a Shirley Temple right now? Nice. I'll give the sub to whoever rates my build in the next 10 minutes. First person to do so, says team. Wow, there you go. If you guys want to gift the sub. I like the shirt. Yeah, you know, it's kind of my motto. <laughs> I might steal the trademark for that. My parents keep saying why I want a PC. I don't know what to say. Um, tell them because you think that you might get into computer engineering or uh, computer programming. All right. So, yeah, here is the Clev Crass, the C910. It actually comes with a removable, uh, uh, what's, what do they call it? Uh, heat um, dissipation sticker, uh, an HDS heat dissipation sticker. Um, but we're not going to install it. I guess we don't need it because we're going to have it. A back plate right here, so I mean, I guess that's kind of convenient. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. It's PCH with another fit of it. He says, I'm a streamer with a 12600K and a 3060 Ti on 1080p. If you were me, what would you upgrade first? Um, I mean, you could get away with a better GPU. Your 12600K can actually handle a little bit better of a GPU. Um, watch out, watch yeah, out, watch out, watch I, I guess GPU, you know, I mean, if you're going to do an upgrade, you're at the point where like you have a solid 1080p system. Your next upgrade should be a solid 1440p system. Like don't upgrade to a 3070, you know, make it a, make it a, a good jump from your 3060 Ti. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess your GPU should be first. All right, putting the SSD in. Maybe. Twelve six 
twist that over there. Boom. There we go. Is there tape on this? Is there a sticker on this? I can't tell. This is a weird one. I feel like there is no tape. It's just gl Is this glossy? I feel like it's just glossy. Yeah, I think I'm picking at it. It looks like there's tape on it, though. I've had this problem before. I feel like this shouldn't be a problem, but it sometimes is. Yeah, yeah, no, this is definitely the sticker. Or the, the tape, I mean. Oh my god, no, it's not. Nope, nope, it's definitely just yeah, that. Okay, how was this on here? I lost track. There we go. Boom. Uh, Team MC actually gifting out that tier one sub. Nice. It looks like Nick Star reviewed his build. Thank you for the gifted sub. Guilty Oregano with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Vanilla Sporks with the 245 biddies. Says, appreciate your help with the $2,000 pure performance list. I'll definitely be looking over tonight, but look solid. Appreciate you. Oh, the consulting service I just did today. Nice. Nice. Thank you very much for the biddies. I mean, I would look at the list before you send more biddies. <laughs> you never know. You might not like it. <laughs> that was a risky move. I appreciate it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I just did that one today. That was the only, that was the only consulting order I had to do today. It was pretty nice. Uh, Queso Goblin with the fitted biddies. Thank you. Much appreciated. <clears throat> Boo ads. Thank you for watching the ads. I appreciate it. That's what funds the live stream. Okay. Our motherboard is fully prepped and ready to go. We have our B760 micro ATX motherboard. We got a 12100F install with the stock cooler because this is the color scheme that we're going for. We got 16 gigs of DDR4. And then we got a one terabyte Gen 4 NVMe drive. Boom. Just like that. I'm gonna set this right next to my dog on the carpet. Good to go. How are you guys feeling about the build? What time is it? 9.13 PM. Not too bad. Not too bad. I bought an RTX 3050. When can you look and check setups? I don't check builds and setups on um, on Thirsty Thursday. We just got, yeah, time to drink. That's what I'm thinking, man. That's what I'm thinking. We, we just got too much stuff to do. Name is John C. What is the case? I haven't shown the case. Well, like I said, this is an off meta build. Let's do our power supply first, and then we'll check out the case. I'll let you know right now, though, if I had to guess how many people we got here. We got, oh wow, over 500 on Twitch. Let's go. Uh, about 200 on YouTube. 700 people watching. I would guess legitimately that there is maybe six people. <laughs> Grayson with the $2 donut says, is a 48. Now, hold, hold, you can wait. Hold on. I would guess that there's maybe six people in here that have heard of this case. Actually, I got to figure out for myself. Type a one in chat if you've heard this case, heard of this case before. Okay. And be honest. Don't be a bozo. Be honest. Actually, actually, no, no, no. Hold, 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 hold. Just so I know if, who's legit or not. Who can tell me either the manufacturer or the model name of this case. I don't think it's shown. Oh, damn it. It is. Hmm. What can I do? Here, I'll put... I'll put this up in front of it. Okay, there we go. Okay. Wait, you can't see that, can you? Oh, my God. You might have just saw it. <laughs> Not a great box. Who can tell me... The manufacturer or 
the model name of this case. There is no way. DIY PC, nope. Sama, nope. NZXT, nope. Montech, nope. Musitex, nope. Zalman, nope. Keters, never heard of that. Antec, nope. Raid Max, nope. Nintendo, good guess, nope. Segatep, nope. Yo, is that a beer? Yeah, we, we always drink a beer on Thirsty Thursday. Fantex, nope. Corsair, nope. Nope, not Easy DIY. Not Lee and Lee. Nope. Re, uh, Regintech, nope. <laughs> Thermal Take, Deep Cool. No, you've definitely never heard of this. Wow, maybe the six was an overestimation. <laughs> nope, not the Game Max. Game Max, nope. Apple. Thermal take. Antec, nope. Nope, nobody's gonna get it. Dark Flash, no. Galax, no. Fractal, no. Bit Phoenix, no. <laughs> you guys have named them all. The Turbo Cock, nope. Skytech, Moravol, no. Moravol's a good guess. Cougar, no. Samsung, Timu. <laughs> Timu free gift. Amazon Basics. <laughs> Wish. That's hilarious. No. Okay. <laughs> Let me pull it up on, on the internet. Or in a web page real quick. So you can see this thing. Nobody has heard of this before. It actually looks like pretty decent value too. Which is why I bought it. Oh my god. If I Google it, it doesn't even find it. Hold on. Why does incognito mode show my location? Okay. Oops. Damn it. Sorry, this is taking so long. Oh my god, it doesn't even find it. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh my god. It doesn't even find I, I literally just typed in the model name on Amazon. It doesn't even find it. There it is. Okay. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Gotta be Vitro. Oh, no, not Vitro. Good guess. Nobody's guessed that yet. AliExpress themselves? No, it's not Game Max. X Real? No. FSP? Toshiba? No. Red Dragon? Nope. Did you know it's not Red Dragon, it's Redragon? I don't know how you actually pronounce it, but it's spelled Redragon. Wait till he says Subaru, Toyota, Honda, <laughs> Bugatti. All right, this here, ladies and gentlemen, is from a box yell. From a brand called Seven Hero. Seven Hero. That's the brand. Okay. It is the the model name is called the the E M B L <laughs> E M B L. <laughs> Someone said that. Oh, I missed it. Sorry. There's no way somebody said that. Somebody said Seven Hero. E, E M. Sorry, E M B L. Yes, never heard of it. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> Child labor company. That's kind of messed up, but it might be true. You paid for it? Question mark. Yes. China Max case. Yeah. Okay. So here's the here's what the listing looks like. This is not my zip code, by the way. I this is fake. I just typed in a random number. It is the E M B L. Um. I didn't pay 90 for it. I paid 80 for it, actually. But this is it. So it it's a micro ATX fish tank. And it came with three pre-installed PWM ARGB fans, allegedly. We're going to find that out for ourselves. And it actually looks pretty decent. I paid 80 bucks for it. I mean, 80 bucks for a fish tank case 
with three pre-installed ARGB fans, that's like Montech Sky 2 level of value. Oh, hold on. I gotta go. My son's asking for me. I'll be right back. We're back. Sorry about that. We had another other very high priority issue here. Um, I when we went to the Linus Tech Expo, the Linus Tech Tips Expo last year up in Canada, I bought my four year old a Canadian watch. It's got like a Canadian polar bear on it or something. Uh, and it just broke at 930 at night when he's supposed to be sleeping. Somehow it broke. And it still smells like soda in his room for some reason. There's no soda in the house, so I don't know why he thinks that. Um, but, yeah, sorry. Major issues. <clears throat> Shout out Canada. He does love his Canada watch. His Canadian watch. Okay. Adora with the $4.20 dono says, I'm building a new PC and reselling my older one. Going from a 5900X and a 3070 to a 7800X 3D and a 7800XT, I mostly play pro high-level Valorant. High-level Valorant. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that. Uh, so I use a 1080p 360Hz monitor. Would the GPU be a wasted purchase even if I do play some AAA games on the side? No. No, the 7800XT is a very reasonable choice uh, for what you're doing. Um, I mean, Valorant, as we know, is definitely CPU intensive. You have the 7800X 3D, like you're 100% good to go for that. But you don't want a 7800X 3D with a budget 1080p graphics card. Even though you don't really need it for Valorant, we don't want unbalanced systems here. And since you said that you do occasionally play... Um, the harder to run games. I think the 7800 XT uh, is very reasonable. I, I think that's a good combo. Yeah, that'll work. Grayson with the $2 dono says, is a 4080 Super and a 7800 X3D good? I, I said this last time, okay? And I really am not trying to be mean or trying to create content or whatever. If you are questioning, Grayson, I'm, I'm, I'm being 100% honest. If you are questioning if a 7800X 3D and a 4080 Super is good, question mark, you really need to research more about building PCs because that is objectively one of the best types of PCs that you can build. I mean, that would only be outdone by 
a 4090, and maybe a 14900 cap. The 4080 Super and 7800X3D, it, it doesn't get much better than that. So if you are actually questioning, which I'm not getting the vibe that you're trolling, um, you need to do more research. Because PC building, you can't just build something and then like expect everything to work. If you don't have like a fundamental knowledge before you start building, things are going to go wrong. So hopefully that didn't offend you. Um, but yes, it's definitely a good combination. But I would research the world of PC building before you build that thing. Uh, 16 Atha with 100 bitties says, Recently got a deal for a 7900 GRE, great choice, and I traded my 6700 XT in for it. Currently pairing it with a 5600 at 1080p, and it seems to be performing exactly like the 6700 XT when I'm expecting more. Is it because I'm getting CPU bottleneck, and what should I do to fix it? Um, yeah, that is a CPU bottleneck situation. But... I wouldn't expect it to be that drastic. Like, if you're getting the exact same performance, something sound, something smells fishy. I would expect you to at least see a little bit better performance. Um, but yeah, even before you got to that, or before I got to the second half of that comment, yeah, I was thinking CPU bottleneck that whole time. But if it's the exact same, maybe, maybe research that a little bit more. Uh, that sounds a little weird. Uh, teardrop with the 99 biddies. Oh, uh, what, what settings are you playing at? If you are playing at like... We'll get to that in just a minute. Um, if you're playing at like 1080p low, 1080p medium, then that would be the reason. Because you're, you're definitely CPU bottlenecked at that point. You, you want to be pushing your resolution and your your graphic settings as far as you can go. That way you're putting more strain on that GPU instead of the 5600. All right, Flappa with the $4.20 dono says, Is it normal for a 7800X 3D to run at 52 degrees while idle? Well, it all depends on... Know your role and shut your mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk. I'm just trying to build a PC here. Dahlia with the 500 biddies. What do you have to say? Is a wireless mouse the same as a hamster? Mm. 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 All right. I... I'm gonna be straight up. I I just wanna build the PC. Dolly. Just let me do my thing, man. I appreciate the 500 biddies. Just let me do my thing, please. Poor favor. Pay for the fitted biddies. Says I'm back. The boy is at a phase where only I can put him down for bed. My wife has been trying. Yes, we, we have gone through those phases as well. You're not alone. Uh, teardrop for the 99 biddies says, Hey Zach, I recently got a Ryzen 5 3600 off eBay and some of the pins got damaged in shipping. Any tips on how to fix it? Yeah. Um, everyone's got little tricks. What I usually do, probably not the best method, but this is just what I do, is, it's not a good example, I get the smallest possible flathead. This guy right here. This is what I would do. I would get this tiny little flathead and individually try to bend the back. See how tiny that is? It's so thin that you can get into each individual row of pins and bend them back. Some people use credit cards. If you need to like bend a whole row, you could put a credit card in there and then bend the whole thing. Um, some people have used like razor blades. And then some people have used, uh, I don't think I have it. No, um, like pry tools like plastic pry tools that you would use to like open up a phone case, those type of things. You just gotta be careful, man. Bent pins are not the end of the world. It just requires finesse. You know, bent pins typically can be perfectly fixed as long as you don't break anything. It's fixable. And just, you, you just got to keep straightening, straightening them out until it fits in that socket, the AM4 socket. And then once it is in there, leave it in there. <laughs> 
once it feels secure in there, don't take it out. Just leave it in there. You'll be good to go. But it's fixable. Just be calm. Give yourself a lot of overhead light so you can see everything. You know, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay. We're going to keep pressing. Our power supply is none other. We haven't used this for a while. The Apivia Prestige 600 watt. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is a tier C rated power supply on the PSU tier list. So it's definitely good for a $496 build. It's actually 80 plus gold, which I don't really care about, but it is there. Um, the biggest problem is honestly, it's not modular at all. And it's got these really thick braided cables for all of the cables. Now, normally with like a budget power supply, these braided cables are actually a benefit for like the 24 pin, the six plus two GPU and the four plus four CPU. That's usually a nice benefit because it, they do look pretty nice, but every other cable is braided as well. So this creates a huge bulk in your case. So whenever you use cases that don't have a ton of room for cable management, like the one we're using today, it's very difficult to bundle these up because uh, they just, they use up so much room as opposed to like the thin flexible rubber cables. So that's like one of the major downfalls of this power supply. Uh, but for being a budget power supply under, for a, a build under 500 bucks, um, this is a really good choice. Tier C, you know, obviously not the best, but good enough, as they say. Good enough. Might not be rabid. Rapid. With Switch Prime Sub, thank you. Apivia gang? Yeah, Apivia makes really bad power supplies. Okay? They are capable of making really bad power supplies. But remember, with power supplies, it's all about the model, not the brand. Because do you know who else makes some really bad power supplies? Thermaltake, EVGA, Corsair even. It's not just about the brand, it's about the specific model. Sure, Thermaltake, Corsair, and EVGA, they have really, really good power supplies. But they also make a few that aren't good. A PV is kind of reverse. Most of theirs are bad. Some of them are decent. <laughs> And this just happens to be one of the decent ones. No way he puts the motherboard in before 10. Not at this rate, man. Okay, here's our cable extensions. Looking absolutely beautiful. These are from Vtrue, though. Um, I actually don't like Vtrue cable extensions. I think I had an issue with them once before. Like, the pin came right out of the socket, so I stopped using them. Uh, but we're going to risk it because I really wanted this color scheme. We are going to risk it. All right. So we need one six plus two. We need a four plus four and the 24 film. And then we got a cable come up. Zach, work quick. I put 500. Know your role then you and put the shut your mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk. Dally with another 500 biddies. Oh my goodness. What do you have to say for yourself? Again. Is that beer sitting on the F5 key? Cause it looks refreshing. <laughs> Alright, you, you've redeemed yourself, Dally. You can come back. <laughs> You're welcome back. That wasn't bad. I mean, I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. I'll give it to you. I would consider the score even at this point. You definitely lost the point on whatever nonsense you said earlier. You gained that point back. Congrats. We're even. Not bad. Zach, the 7 hero is a rebadged Ions KZ900. If I remember correctly. Ions KZ900. No, that would be incorrect. Th these are not the same. This is a dual chambered micro ATX fish tank. 
the case that we have now is not dual chamber. <laughs> Incorrect. All right, let's install this. Hold on. <clears throat> Can I have any PC part? No. Oh, so who here? Who watched the Linus giveaway video today? Did anybody watch it? Linus released a video today that was something. I didn't watch it, but it was something along the lines of how somebody would asked for a free giveaway PC in their DMs every single day for three years. And then I think they gave them the PC today. Can somebody give me the quick recap? Is that actually what happened? Because I have thoughts. I, I, I need to watch it first before I give public thoughts. But a little concerning on that, if that's actually the case. But again, <laughs> I'll watch it myself before I give thoughts. Can somebody give me the quick recap? <laughs> Where did my... Did I really bundle up the... Oh my god, I did. How did that happen? Linus stream last night was epic. Raised over $100,000 for a kid's hospital. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, because of all those PCs he built? Mark says, they hid the PC and gave him clues. He had 24 hours to find it before the video went live. Okay. My thoughts have not changed. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my thoughts have not changed. Does anyone want to take a guess at what I'm thinking from a content creator perspective? Anybody want to take a guess on that? He found it? The dude ended up finding it? Not good, says D-Man. Fake? No, I doubt it was fake. No, I Lin <laughs> Linus would not fake a giveaway. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah. That he's a dick? Question mark? No. Uh, he's a dick? He just gave somebody a free PC. <laughs> what are you talking about? How's that being a dick? Yeah. Mark says it's, it's going to encourage that type of behavior. Do you guys know how many DMs I have right now of running totals? Day one asking for a PC, day two of asking for a PC, day three. I ha I have 132 Discord message requests right now, and I do parse these to just try to get rid of them. Most of these are either review my PC part picker list or day X of asking for a, pre a free PC. Did Linus just make a video encouraging people to ask content creators for free PCs? Because I thought we were all under the impression that if you ask for a free PC, you have an exactly 0% chance of, given, of getting one. Now, with the biggest PC building tech creator on the planet, just made that percentage not exactly zero percent. I think we're. I, I. I. I think our DMs are cooked. I. I, I think this is gonna be bad. Linus said in the video that this would be the last time he would do it. Jesus Christ! Oh my God. That. that that's honestly even worse. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That. That's honestly even worse. <laughs> In my, again, I need to watch the video. But my my first my first thought about that is that means they thought of this. They thought the exact same thing I'm thinking now, and they thought the solution was just to say this is the last time. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'll watch the video and I'll give my real thoughts. Those are the initial pre didn't watch. Completely ignorant 
um, thoughts on it, though. I do not like that. I. We can't encourage that type of behavior. We really can't. I, I, I think that's... Oh, man. I mean, the more I get into it, the more I think, like, wow, that's actually, like, very irresponsible to do. Oh, man. I don't think people realize how, how much that happens. I mean, it's... I, I delete... How many emails do I delete a day? I mean, I, I, have a, I have an email account on my social profiles that says business only. And I tell people in videos like Know your do. role and shut your mouth because I'll the relax. people's champ is ready to talk. I'll relax, Dolly, with the 500 biddies. I'll relax. What do you got to say? Day one of sending biddies for a PC. I would have let that run longer, but there's apparently an ad break going on, and I don't want people to see the ad and actually, <laughs> actually think the stream is over. If there wasn't an ad break, I would have let that. I would have let that mofo run for at least a minute. Oh my god. <clears throat> but yeah, that, I mean that, that. That is what our DMs are filled with. It. It is wild. Well, it's not wild. I don't know why I'm even saying that. I was about to say it is wild. That, oh my God. Yeah, I, I, I'm just getting more heated the more I think about this. It is wild to think that mostly kids think that they have a chance of getting a free PC by asking for a free PC. It's wild to think that. Like when when I was a kid, like I don't, I'm pretty confident that I don't know a single human that has ever asked, like in real life, that has ever asked for a free PC. Okay, like, uh, it's just not what we do. That's not what the people that I know do. It's wild to think that there's people out there that actually think that that will work. Is it wild anymore? No. <laughs> the, the biggest tech creator just proved that it's not wild to do that. <laughs> oh my God, we're screwed. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Entitlement, I guess. I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, there, there are people that get mad when I don't give them free PCs. <laughs> I don't ever, like, shine light to that. I don't respond. I don't make content about it. So, sometimes I just want to... Sometimes when I get these stupid emails, I just want to make content about it because it's hilarious. But I just don't because... <laughs> You don't want to give the impression that you care about these emails, that you read them, that they're legitimate. You don't want to encourage that type of behavior. Man, that's wild. What's also wild is the second hype train of the night going already. Oh, my God. Teardrop with the 200 bitties says, I felt like spending more bits. I'm going to make my first ITX P PC in the Tower 100 for a flip and theme it after the character BMO. Dude, I got no idea what that means. Um, but nice. <laughs> Good luck with the build. Uh, the Tower 100 is pretty cool. Is it ITX? I thought that was micro ATX. I'm most likely wrong. Tower 100. Oh, yeah, it is ITX. That's a big ITX case. Watch out, watch out, nice. Watch out, watch out. Nice. Yeah, we just sold it. We, uh, was it Thermal Take? Thermal take makes it. Yeah, thermal take. Thermal take sent me the tower 100, <laughs> and I never used it, so we sold it <laughs> like a couple years later. I never found like a good project that made sense for it. Um, I'm personally not a huge fan of the tower 100. Like, I don't think there's anything like objectively wrong with it. Just subjectively, I just don't really like it. Um, I just never used it. Qualsack with the fit of it, he says, make content that puts those mofos on blast. No, because you can't do that because getting put on blast is what some of those mofos want. And then my, the, and then my emails are just going to get filled with it. 
I, I don't think people understand how many emails uh, and DMs have to be deleted. And I mean, there's creators out there that are have much, much worse inboxes and DMs than I do. I mean, it, 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 it's brutal. It is like it is. It's 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 fascinating, honestly, that there's that many people out there that think that they have a legitimate chance of winning a free PC from sending an email. It's fascinating because, again, I don't know a single person that would do that. Type. Type the number in chat of how seriously type the number in chat of how many times you've actually asked somebody for a free PC, please. I would love to know this. I would love to know. I won't judge. I won't call your name out. I'm just looking at the numbers. Type in chat how many times you've actually asked somebody for a free PC. Like legitimately. Not like Dolly. All zeros. All zeros. 69. Three. There's a three. First time chatter with a one. Okay. Okay. One time. That's fine. One now, says Dolly. Twelve. Never seriously. That doesn't matter. Two, but both as a joke. Were they like Dolly level jokes? Where like we're actively talking about that as a joke? See, this is what people don't understand. <laughs> Dolly just did that as a joke. While we are currently talking about that being a joke. If you send a random DM that you were not have that you were not talking to somebody previously, asking for a PC, <laughs> if you think it's a joke. Nobody does that. <laughs> like, you're not actually joking. You might behind the scenes be like, oh, yeah, I'm just kidding, blah, blah, blah. But deep down, you're only doing it because you think that there's a non-zero percent chance that you're going to win. I wouldn't consider that a joke. <clears throat> it's kind of pathetic, says the email. Is it? I mean, objectively speaking now, especially after the Linus video, is it? <laughs> I mean, that's my problem. That's my problem with it. Is it actually? <laughs> you, you have a non-zero percent chance of, of winning now. Is it crazy to do that? I mean, it takes, it takes three seconds to type up the message. Um... And you never know. People like Linus could make a video about it. <laughs> it doesn't seem doesn't seem so ridiculous anymore. I rep with 100 bitties says, "Hey Zach, I have a Ryzen 5 5500, and I need something more powerful that's around 250 USD. I want to stay on AM4." Um, 250? That is a can you get a, uh, an X3D for that? Can you get one in stock, I should say? Yeah, the 5700 X3D. Get that. Yeah, get a 5700 X3D. That's the best one. They're at like 240 right now. Can you get a PC for $100? I literally just made a video two weeks ago about a $100 PC. Yes. Watch out, watch out, watch out, it is watch possible. Out. Here's what I'm doing, by the way. This is why we're wasting time. Look at all these stupid little tags on the cable extensions. I'm just trying to remove them. That's all I'm doing with a effing razor blade on my PSU cables. I'm just trying to cut these off of here. One beer deep while talking to you guys. It's not exactly the best formula here for safety. Um, but, the, I mean, these stickers are just so ugly. We gotta get rid of them. That was the last one. That's just obnoxious. Again, I, I do not really like the Vitro cables. Maybe that was my issue. <laughs> The darn tags will make us lose the poll. The motherboard's got to be installed in 10 minutes. Oh, dude. who? How many people voted yes to that? You guys have no shot at that one. 
Know your role and shut your mouth if people because keep, the people's champ is ready to talk. If people keep donating above 300 biddies for the text-to-speech, you have no chance at that one. I gave away a free PC to one of my buddies who lived two hours away because his PC broke slash stopped working on his birthday. It was a fully built PC with 5600x CPU with 1TB of storage, 32GB of RAM, and 750W SU. Only thing was missing was a graphics card. Still was around $500 without a graphics card. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Losing a PC on your birthday? That would suck. You sound like a good friend. Adit, thank you very much for those 500 biddies. Much appreciated. Draw a free PC for me. Painful? <laughs> draw? We don't do drawing on Thirsty Thursday anymore. How many people were here? Type a one in chat if you were here when I used to draw on Thirsty Thursday. You know what I mean. Type a one in chat if you remember me drawing on Thirsty Thursday. It's probably less than 10 people, I would guess. No, it wasn't for shoutouts. Yeah, about 10 people, I'd say. Yeah, maybe not Maybe not even 10. Um, back in the day, this is pre-YouTube short, pre-TikTok explosive growth ZTT here. Um, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. We used to have a background PC like this PC is right now. Just a just a normal PC that would just sit in the background. Day one of asking oh. for graffiti PC back. Oh my god. Day one of asking. Thank you for those other 300 biddies painful. We called it graffiti PC. And the front case of it was glass, but it was designed so you could draw with uh, like washable markers on it. I forget what type of marker they were. Not dry erase, but something else. Liquid liquid chalk. Liquid chalk markers, I think it was called. And if somebody donated 300 biddies on Thirsty Thursday, they could put in a draw request and I would draw whatever they wanted me to on the case. <laughs> Thinking back on it, I probably should <laughs> run that back. I think we finally got rid of that case, though. I think I gave it to Sam. Those were the those are the fun Thirsty Thursday days. <laughs> those are fun. Do you have an Undertaker sound bell? No, I wish. That should be on the list. How many bits to start that back up? Well, I would need to buy the case again. <laughs> Because I don't have it. <laughs> and I don't know where I would put it. I don't have room for a background PC right now. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, Luki with the 270 Canadian, 279 Canadian uh, super chat. How do you change the color on the Assassin 120 ARGB? Um, if you plugged it in via the three pin ARGB connector to your motherboard, then you need to use your motherboard's RGB software. You can type in Google your motherboard model name, which will take you to the manufacturer webpage. Click on the support tab and then find the download section. And one of those downloads for your motherboard will be the RGB software. That's how you change most ARGB products. Hopefully that helps. <clears throat> What's in the PC build? Yeah, I mean, it's been so long. This is a $496 off meta type of PC build. Not pure performance. I mean, Friendly we're... reminder, if you talk in caps, you are getting muted. If you don't listen to mods, you will get banned. <laughs> Thank you for the PSA. <laughs> oh, 955. We got to get this motherboard installed. How many people voted on yes for the motherboard? Oh, we got the cable extensions finished. 
ladies and gentlemen. Five minutes? Dude, I can do that. How many how many people voted? Hold on, let me let me see how many people voted over here. I don't like the Twitch UI. I okay, I get yep, there's a height train. Yep, I get it. Where can I see the poll? Look at all this time we're wasting here. Oh, and there's my pinned comment. Yep, I get it. Where where's the poll? I I don't even know how to see it. I don't even know how to pull it up. I missed the vote. TikTok. Ten people. Don't waste time. Do you think I can do it? I mean, all I got, all I got to do is install the motherboard, man. <laughs> all right. I mean, we got we got four more minutes to install the motherboard here. I can do that right now. It just depends. What was the, what was the percentage? How many people voted? Yes, I will install the motherboard. How many, what was the percentage of people that voted? Yes, I will install it. Points tab? Dude, what the hell is a point, or what the heck is a points tab? I don't know what that means. I almost, I almost got bloody on this one. Three minutes? The baller points tab? Dude, I don't know what that means, man. Nothing crazy going on here, just relaxing, building my PC. Just chilling, going at a nice slow pace. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Thank you for those biddies. I appreciate it. Just relaxing, not even using the correct drill, uh, screw bit. No reason in particular. I mean, some could say we're just trying to get a job done. Magnetic screwdriver, obviously. I wouldn't dare build a PC without a magnetic screwdriver. One more. Two minutes left. Do you think we can do it? Two minutes. What was the percentage? I need to know. We got to rig this thing. What was the percentage of people that said, yes, I will install that in the next two minutes? I might take a breather. It's done. 10.59. You're welcome. You're welcome. 6%? Is that actually serious? <laughs> Congrats, ladies and gentlemen, to the 6% that got it done. Was it actually 6%? Prediction result is yes. Where's the baller points tab? And how do I get here? I don't think I can see it. One new event. There we go. Oh my god, it really was. That's crazy. <laughs> there were 50,000 baller points on no, and only 3,000 baller points on yes. Congrats to you guys. <laughs> Click the basketball. Oh, there you can see it. Nice. Yes, yeah, 6% on yes. <laughs> You're welcome. That's 6%. They get all of those baller points of people that voted no. <laughs> it's not like doubling down. You get all of the points from the people that voted the opposite of what you voted. <laughs> yeah, 6% yes, 94% no. 10 total people. 
on yes, 30 on no. That's wild. I got you guys. I'm here for you. Uh, but yeah, if you guys missed the um, the intro to this build, we are. This is basically an off meta build. Okay, we're not using any Ryzen 5 3600s. We're not using any RX 6600, 5700 XTs, 5500, 5600. We're not using any of that. This is off meta. Just to try out some new parts today, or different parts. We got 12100F in here. We're installing the RX 6600M GPU. And then this case is the 7 Hero EMBL. $80. Fish tank. Three Aero GB fans included. Honestly, it's not looking so it's not looking bad so far. $496 was the total for the bill. Painful the fit of Biddy says those fans have RGB infinity mirrors. Um, that remains I I, I I guess. Like I I was kind of expecting that like maybe oops. <laughs> I was kind of expecting that maybe it was like a sticker. I don't really know. But I mean they look RGB. Infinity. Hold on, let me see if I can get a good angle here so you can see it. Oh man, this is impossible. Oh uh, well, you can't really see it. Okay, well, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to figure it out whenever we get that part. <laughs> um, they could be. They could be. PC Act with the Fit of Bitty says, Talk about a random thing for 60 seconds without installing screws. Too late, man. Bega with the Tier 1 sub. Come back for two months. Thank you very much. XXX missed with the Tier 1 sub. Much appreciated. <sighs> How many PCs are there in your home? Not a lot. We have this PC. Tw my 12700K and 7900 XTX. That's my main PC. We got my MacBook, if you consider that. That's what I use for work. We have the streaming PC, which is a 1700X and an RTX 3050. <laughs> spare parts build uh we have my wife's fractal terra itx build 12700k and rtx 4070 ti those are the main pieces um we have my server if you consider that a pc it's got a xeon cpu 128 gigs of RAM, something, something, something. I don't really remember. Uh, oh, oh, and we have my home theater PC. Never mind. Okay, that, that's one too many. That's one obnoxious too many. The home theater PC as well, which currently has a 12400F and an RTX 4060 low profile. Six. Six PCs? And one of them's a server, so five. And one of them's a MacBook, so four. Depends on how you want that answer. Four to six. How do you use a dual PC system? I don't have a dual PC system. Dual boot? Like two operating systems? Just install the operating system on two separate SSDs. And you can dual boot. It's very easy. I actually just made a video about that today. That'll be going live in a couple days, actually. All right, here's what the back's looking like. Uh, this looks kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. So this is not dual chambered. The power supply basement's in the bottom. We do have a pretty beefy power supply basement, which will help us. But the depth of cable management is not good. This is going to be a little tight. The depth of cable management is a little... I hear a screw rattling around here. Um, it's going to be a little tight, but we're going to make it happen. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to install all of our case connectors real quick, like the USB 3.0, before we install that power supply. That black on black, though, I mean, it looks, it looks decent. I just found a problem. Oh. 
Shit. <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. I might not be able to use this case. We might need to... Oh my god, we might need to cancel this right here. Alright. What am I looking at, ladies and gentlemen? What is the problem here? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. This is a mother or a, a a case that nobody has heard of before. <laughs> what problem are we looking at right now? There's that screw that just fell out. What problem are we looking at right now? PSU too big? No, 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 we're good. We didn't make any mistakes. This is just a bad case design problem. Yeah. T T Res has it. <laughs> oh my god. There is no place to route the 24 pin connector or the USB 3.0 connector. Look, the motherboard is actually overlapping the fan right here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. There's our answer. That's why no one's seen this. <laughs> That's why no one's heard of this case before. <laughs> Just stick it through the fan. Yeah, That's not a bad idea. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That's so bad. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is why you stick to meta parts, okay? I mean, I know that I'm doing this for science and for entertainment, but like, what the... F I, I honestly don't even want to build that. Can you not bend the cable up? I mean, if, if you needed to build this case... If you needed to build with a case, yes. You could route it from this right here. You could go all the way up here. I guess we'll do that for science. I'll show you. I'll show you how stupid this is going to look. You can route it from here all the way up. Or I, I, I guess I guess the best would probably be... Oh my god, we got cable extensions too. This is going to look so crazy. <laughs> what I'm thinking is... We could do the USB 3.0 pin or cable from the bottom going up here. And then the 24 pin is going to come from up here. Oh my god. What do you guys think? We'll just have the, the cable extension go from here to here. Oh my god. I've never seen a case that bad before. That's wild. <laughs> That's not bad. Will it block the GPU? No, we'll be fine. No, we'll be fine. Um, our GPU is not that big. And even if it was, you can route cables behind the GPU. Sometimes motherboards... Sometimes motherboards will have a PWM fan connector, like right up here, and you have to route the fan cable up this way behind the GPU. That's fine. But again, our GPU isn't even big enough for that to be an issue. That's wild, man. That's such a bad case design. That is why we stick to meta components. PC Tech Hustle with the $20 super chat over on YouTube says, I challenge you to make this PC look good. <laughs> with that jank K, dude, I'm trying. Thank you very much for that $20 donut, man. That's big. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the mission of today. I guess that's what we're going to do. Uh, the, the only problem is, like, do I really want to make a YouTube video about this? Because, like, the video was not supposed... This, this is a build for a YouTube video. The, the video was specifically going to be about not using meta parts, which is why we're trying a case brand that nobody's heard of before. But I didn't want the point of the video to show that it's a bad idea to use off meta parts. I wanted to show that it's a good idea. <laughs> I wanted to show that not using a 3600 and a 5700 XT is a good idea. I think we, uh, I think I proved myself wrong on that one, though. 
Uh, Thunder Turbo with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Oh, come back for six months. Thank you very much. Now rocking the gold ZTD badge, by the way. Queso gifting out another tier one gifted sub. Thank you. Highly Studio, come back for the tier one resub. Come back for two months. So is today the giveaway? No. No. This is a month-long giveaway. We just gave away the last PC three weeks ago. Numpty might be in the chat. You need to see how they handled the cables in the ag pictures. Oh, that's a really good idea. That's a really, really, really good idea. Okay, how did we how did we find that last time? Alright. Oh my god, if we see the cables. <laughs> that's such a good idea. Wow, I just typed in a random zip code. Like, just random numbers off the top of my head. And I actually got Philadelphia. <laughs> Pretty close to Pittsburgh. Watch out, watch okay. Out, watch out, watch out. Seven hero. I think I typed in micro ATX case to get it last time. Mtorling. Seven hero. What was that? I'm trolling? No, I want to see it. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. How did I get there last time? Seven hero. I'm trolling. Why are you saying I'm trolling? I'm confused. I want to see how they routed the cables. I think that's a great idea. You're going to love this. Oh, you're going to love this so much. <laughs> this is so good. Look at this. There are no cables. <laughs> this render of the case doesn't have any cables. There's no GPU cable. There's no four plus four cable. And there's no 24 pin cable. <laughs> that is wild. Oh my God. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. What a BS product. That is crazy. This might be the worst. This might be the actual worst product I've ever <laughs> tried to build with before. That's crazy. We do have the tubes for the AIO. <laughs> that's the only thing that's semi-legit over here. Oh my god. That's wild. Why are you saying that you're trolling though? I thought that was a great idea. <laughs> Numpty with 100 bitty says I'm just lurking tonight. Yes, Numpty is the one that won the, the previous giveaway. <clears throat> At that price, it's ridiculous can't be false advertising if they don't show it <laughs> is that a no cable case maybe wait hold on that's actually no it's not <laughs> we're good so do i how is the numpty pc going i've explained this i've given my thoughts a lot on this already so we'll try and make this quick uh, but Numpty decided to go on vacation the day he won his giveaway PC. So the PC is still in my studio. And ironically, the same day that we gave away the PC, uh, we actually started charging for shelf rental space. Okay, it's a new business venture. Um, Zach's Shelf Turf, ZST, LLC. Um, so Numpty is currently being charged $400 a day um, to keep his giveaway PC on my shelves while he's on vacation. So we'll see how long it takes. But that $400 a day adds up pretty quickly um, to the point where I might retire soon. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, that's how the giveaway PC is going. You know, we got a fully updated form. We downloaded all the latest drivers, updated Windows to the fullest. We did everything to make that PC as fresh as possible for us. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Now she's sitting on a shelf collecting dust for four hundred dollars a day. Pay for the three hundred bit. It says you need one of those you weird. Need one of those weird narrow motherboards that only has two RAM sticks. Then you can use the cable hole. Yeah. I think we're gonna build with it. I think we're yeah. Look. Let's just build with it. It's Thirsty Thursday. I know what the people want. 
let's build with it. All right, so I'm gonna route this three USB 3.0 cable up all the way up here. That one won't look so ridiculous. Kind of looks ridiculous watch already. Out, but, watch out, watch out. All right, we got that. We got that. Let's get our case connector going. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Guys, I gotta build this PC. Relax. John Cena, relax. Seven Hero is too advanced for us. They are wireless. May not be first, but I enjoy Earth's dream. <laughs> that might be the case. I'm not. I'm not worthy enough of this case. Apparently, maybe this case is not meant for budget builds. Budget off meta builds. Maybe this is only for the the cableless high end stuff. I think you might be right. Russia hat with a two dollar super chat. Any tips for selling PCs? I have a lot of tips. Um, you should watch my videos about PC flipping, to be honest, because there are a lot of individual tips. Um, but the biggest tip I always say is to realize who you're selling to. You are not selling your PC as a flipper to enthusiasts who want AMD's max FPS per dollar. You're mostly selling to the Fortnite slash Roblox casual audience that just wants FPS, RGB, and an NVIDIA graphics card. So if you wanna sell, oops, what the f Hold on a second. Oh my God. Please tell me I made a mistake here and this isn't. Hold on. Hold. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch oh, thank God. Ho hold on. This still does not explain what's going on here. <laughs> we got too many connectors here. <laughs> we oh, my God. Let me zoom this in for you. <laughs> the, the story's not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> wrong way. The story is not done. Okay, here we go. We have, I don't even know what to do with this, a power switch, okay, save that one for later. We got the power switch, and we got the reset switch, okay, we're good on that. We also have the HDD lights, positive and negative, which we should have, and then we also have the power LED positive and negatives, which we should have, <laughs> but then there's one more. <laughs> This says LED switch. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. What's LED switch do? Where do I... Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I know that like... Sometimes you'll use an LED switch in like a hub, but there's definitely no hub in this thing. I'm lost. I'm lost. You have no intake fans? Fake news. So one thing that they did get right on this case so far is these fans right here these are what's called reverse blade fans so aesthetically it looks like you're looking at the front of the fan you don't see the back of it you know you get the full rgb effect and it looks cool but these fan blades are actually reversed these are indeed intake fans it's called a reverse blade fan. It's the best of both worlds. You're actually getting proper intake, but you're also getting the aesthetics of the front of the fan. Never heard of reverse blade fans? Fans? Yeah, it's actually becoming popular. It's becoming more and more popular because of these fish tank cases where the fans are on this backside now. 
some of the cheaper cases will these will be normal fans and they'll just all be exhaust fans and a pure exhaust build is actually not the end of the world um but some the smart case manufacturers are doing it like this and that's actually a good just look at the scoop exactly that's how i that's how i do it and then these are normal yeah these are a normal exhaust fan in the back <clears throat> Wish the H6 Flow came with reversed fan blades. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, I never I never even really thought about that with the H6 Flow. Yeah, that would actually help. Aesthetically. Do you play Fortnite? Yeah, dude, I'm the Fortnite guad. Okay. I, I, I don't know what to do with this LED switch. It was just... It was really entertaining whenever I was plugging all these in. And like the the one I saved for last was the power switch <laughs> thinking I had it in my hand um, and I go to plug it in and it says LED. I'm like, what the, f what is this? The power switch I just left um, in the back of the case by accident, but I still don't know what this LED switch is for. We're just gonna uh, not use it, I guess. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I really don't know what that's and for. And his name is John C. Kill Gil gifting out five to, uh, YouTube memberships. Thank you very much. That's big time over on YouTube. Appreciate it. And his name is John C. Oh, no. That's the problem, though. <laughs> I gotta fix that. I don't know what, what goes on with that. But I can't mute. <laughs> for whatever reason, whenever you gift... Uh, YouTube subs, unlike Twitch, it runs the sound alert for all of the gifted subs, so we have to mute it. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much, though, Kill. Much appreciated. Yeah, I mean, it. there is a switch on top, but that doesn't explain where you would connect it to. Oh. Wait. No, I still don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that could be for. Mark, do you know? Or painful? Where, like, where, I, I understand that it's for the RGB control, but where would you plug it into? Cali Style with the Twitch Prime sub, thank you. Painful with the Fitted Bitty says it's for the LED button. Yes, I know that. D Man with the 100 Bitty says the reverse fans intake is fine. Yep. Case up with the fitted bitties, thank you. Painful with the fitted bitties says, how long is the GP before you route those from the bottom? Uh, not long. We're good. Uh, Madge with the Twitch Prime sub, thank you. Numpty with the fitted bitties says, I'm feeling bad here on vacation while I sip this uh, margarita on the beach. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine, man. Sorry, I was reading chat. Yeah, do you guys know what this LED switch would be for? I, I, I really don't know. I mean, there could be a legitimate thing for it, but I, I don't know. I mean, it's not too late. Should we just cancel this? <laughs> Should we just go to Thirsty Thursday after hours? Is that the thing to do? Should we not? Should we just make the executive decision not to build with this? <laughs> Zach, I bought the wired version of your headphones recently. Is there a wired version? Hopefully, it didn't get scammed. I don't remember there being a wired version. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Painful the Fitbit says this is the first part you have ever used that I can't find any documentation for or even a single real online picture. We, <laughs> this might be a world first build over here, man. <laughs> Thank you for looking though. This legitimately might be a world first build with seven hero cases. I mean, to my credit, on paper the value looked good. I just happened to not see the rendered images of... <laughs> 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 
the motherboard power situ motherboard power cable situation. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Walk with the fitted bit, it says show us the cables on the back. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Here's what we got. So I'm left with this LED switch. It's a two pin, just like a reset switch cable. The three ARGB fans seem to be daisy chained via PWM, which I just plugged in, and ARGB. I have a couple of end connectors for the three pin ARGB cables. I got one there and probably here. Oh, that's a female. Okay. So this would be my, or this would be the one that I'm gonna plug into the mother. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. They seem to all be daisy chained together. There's nothing up here to plug into. And like, that's it. There's no other terminated connectors here at all. So I was just going to plug this three pin ARGB in. And I, I, I just don't know what that LED switch is for. <laughs> I don't get it. What's in the bag? Screws and zip ties. How much longer is this stream going to be until we figure this out, man? <laughs> uh, Cairo becoming a YouTube member. Thank you very much. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Queso with the 100 bitties says, love the stream, Zach. Glad to hear it. They're usually a little bit smoother than this one, but not by much. Yeah, I mean, we just got screws and... Some type of cable bracket, which may actually be useful, but I definitely don't have the patience to figure out where those go. That's it, man. Yeah, I don't know. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Is it the reset switch or do you have two? They might just reuse the connector. I have a reset switch, which is plugged in and this LED switch. That's what I was thinking as well. Yeah, I mean, why would they give me two? Should I trace it? Okay, let's trace it. So this is the LED button right here. Let's see if that is just directly to the LED switch. Yes, okay. So this button at the top of the case that's labeled LED is for this LED switch here. We do have a reset switch which is plugged into the motherboard and the power switch plugged in the motherboard. But where in the world would they want me to plug this in? <laughs> now, to be fair, I don't think I need it because we're just gonna plug into ARG. Actually, I don't even know if our motherboard has ARGB, but we have an adapter on standby in case if we don't. Um, we're just gonna use ARGB, but what is that switch for? I just don't get it. It could be power LED. No, we have it. All the connectors are full. <laughs> That's what I was trying to explain. We have HDD, LED, uh, HDD light, power switch, reset switch, and power LED. We have it all. My YouTube chat just uh, tanked. Did YouTube go down again? YouTube went down last time we were streaming. My YouTube chat just went down. Were you guys still on YouTube watching? Yeah, I think the YouTube went down again. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. The YouTube went down last time. I don't know. It's fine. YouTube chat sucks anyway. I didn't say it. Was there a fan hub? No, that's what that's what's confusing. This LED, I mean, we're, we're just, we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna run with it at this point. Um, but yeah, usually that LED switch would be if the case came with a fan hub. 
but <laughs> this one just doesn't have one. It's so weird. It is so weird. I think, given by the other problems that we have with this case, that this is simply just an actually bad product. But I was just trying to figure it out before I call it out, because as we just saw with uh, MKBHD, some people are now getting offended by people doing their jobs and posting negative reviews. So, you know, we want to make sure that the thing is actually negative before we talk negatively about it. Zach, do you speak Russian? Yeah, I do, actually. How did you know? Painful the Fitbit says, it must be just in case if you want to add a mub. I don't know what that means. A fan hub? Is that what you're trying to say? A hub? I guess. That's so weird, though. Okay. Oh, sorry. You're not watching at all what I'm doing. Uh, we're just going to start ratcheting some of these cables down. We got to get a move on. It's probably a random ODM case. OEM, you mean? Some brand might include a, a fan hub? Yeah, I don't know. It's so, it's just so weird. But I think it'll still work. I mean, I think, we're, I think we'll be fine. We're still going to deal with the obnoxious placement of the fans and <laughs> the weird cable extensions, which I don't know how that's going to look. Other than, I know it's going to be bad, but... Can you please say something in Russian? Why do you think I can speak Russian? That's such a random thing to ask. And you believe me when I said, yes, I do speak Russian. Like what? And his name is John so random. Zeno with the Twitch Prime sub, thank you. Oh, Kill for Destiny with Twitch Prime sub. Coming back for six months now. Kill for Destiny now rocking the gold ZTT badge. Thank you. All right, this is gonna be really bad cable management, but I'm getting sick of this. Okay, what can we do with this? What can we do with all of this? Um, should I just like bundle this up? I think I just poked myself in the eye with that. What can we do with this? I don't think there is anything to do other than hide it in the power supply basement. Okay, at least this part looks nice. I don't think I can really do anything with everything else, though. Okay. All right. Let's get our power supply in. Now now things are going to get even more chaotic in here. <clears throat> power supply. Or, not power supply. Um, cable management is definitely going out the door with this one. This is about to get ugly. It's gonna be bad. All right. Whew. This is why we use meta parts. This is exactly why we do meta parts. If you needed a reminder, here's your reminder. Don't use off-brand parts. Non-modular power supply. That's what I'm saying, man. It's about to get chaotic in here. This is a $496 build. We ain't got the budget for a modular power supply, man. It was not in the budget. I also have a non-modular. Yeah, I mean, if you're doing a personal build, unless if it's a, actually an ultra-budget build like this, definitely recommend modular. Semi-modular minimum. What's the PSU? It's an Apivia Prestige 600 watt. Um, it's one of the few Apivia models that is actually good enough for budget builds like this. It's rated tier C on the PSU tier list. 
80 plus gold. It's usually 50 bucks, which is really good. Um, I don't have any problems using it. Oh my god, I just need one screw. Where, where is it? There it is. I don't have any problems using it for like the sub $500 builds. I, would, I wouldn't pair with a high-end system, of course, but I don't have a problem with these types of builds. <sighs> but yeah, this is for a YouTube video. We've been building a lot of either customer high-end PCs on Thirsty Thursday or builds for ZTTBuilds.com, our restock builds. So I figured it was time to get like another budget YouTube video style of build on here for the Twitch stream. Uh, it's provided some good entertainment tonight. <laughs> it's a i3 12100F. Yeah, the the purpose. I was explaining this earlier. The entire purpose of this video that this build will be for is just showcasing non-meta parts. You know, we've we've just done so many pure meta price to performance build guides lately that I just wanted to do something a little off meta and use parts that people don't typically use. Um, hence this case selection. But we're finding out exactly why that's a bad idea. Do you do any high-end builds? Yeah, I mean, we build a lot of high-end pieces. Um, well, slightly high-end. Not super high-end. LTD screwdriver, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, my God. This rat's nest is so bad. Oh, it's so bad. I don't even know what to do with it. Oh, my God. It's so, it's so ugly back here. Okay. All right. Let's do the 4 plus 4 first. That'll be the easy part. We'll route that up and over. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We got some color. Color coming alive over here. Okay. We'll route the GPU cable. Oh my God, this could look so crazy. This could look so stupid. Oh my God. <laughs> GPU cable coming up and under. There we go. That's looking good. That's looking good. Okay. Not bad. That'll look good. <laughs> All right. The moment we've been waiting for. The 24 PIM. <sighs> Let's try to. I don't even know if it's going to fit up here, to be honest. Oh, man. I don't, oh, wow. I don't even think it's going to fit up there. Oh, no. It won't. It won't even fit up here. There's no way. It's not going to fit. It's going to have to route from the bottom. <laughs> so stupid. There's no room. For those of you that are have tuned in recently um, and missed all of the context of what we're about to do, please don't think I'm being oh, I am being dumb for using this case but the problem we have is this case doesn't have any room for the 24 pin to come out it the motherboard actually overlaps the case fans it's a very very weird case so we we need to debate about where we want this 24 pin to come and since it won't come from up here we need to make the executive decision to either have it come from all the way over here or down here. <laughs> Top or bottom. Both are going to look ridiculous. I'm thinking top. It's They're both going to look obnoxious. <clears throat> I'm thinking top. Bottom, 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 top, bottom, top. Can you take the fan out? Wrap it from behind and reinsert the fan. Now there's no room. No, not. I mean, there's not even close. Not even close. There's no room. 
Top, bottom, bottom, through the fam. Through the fam might be the best option. <laughs> I think top will look, I mean, it's just, it's two different versions of bad. Let's just see how the top looks. <laughs> it's gonna look so stupid. <laughs> Oh, man. Don't clip this. Oh, I don't even have enough cable combs to make this look decent. Please don't clip me doing this. Por favor. I do not recommend this. Okay, do we want it like that? <laughs> okay, just, just visualize with me for a second. <laughs> I can't use this hole. It doesn't work. The 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 cables coming down from the the I/O ports of the motherboard are soldered on here. I, I can't fit a 24 pin up through here. Okay. Do we either want it to look like this? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Here here's the deal. We have three legitimate options here. I need you guys to pay attention because we're gonna we're gonna have a vote painful if you could run a vote on this that would be great okay we have three actual options here of what we want to do okay option numero uno is just like this okay that's actually how <laughs> how it would look okay that's option one okay option two If possible, this one's gonna be difficult as well. Okay, it's, it doesn't even fit on that one. All right, here, here, here's the deal. I'm gonna make the executive decision to not use this case. We, 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 we can't do this. There's no way. There is no way that I can make a video featuring this case. I will feature the case for sure. I will include this case in the video, but we're going to swap cases before we do that. We can't. We just can't do it. It's 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 going to be too bad. It's just it's too stupid. Mission fail. Yeah, we're I'm not going to finish this. There's no way. It's just too dumb. It's too dumb. I have a non-modular power supply with a non-dual chamber case, but I still treat it like a dual chamber after our time yeah we're <laughs> we're just not gonna do that um i'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick uh and then we'll, we'll just we'll just cut straight to uh, ztt after hours if you guys are new here we usually do like q a if you want to send some pc par picker lists ask some questions uh that then would be the time to do it um but i am gonna go to the bathroom real quick and we're just we're gonna scrap this project, okay? We'll, we'll find a different case, a little bit more meta. All right, I'll be back.
to the rematch. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I think in the history of Thirsty Thursday, this is only the second time that we actually couldn't complete the build. I can't remember what the first time was, but I remember there was something with like the CPU or motherboard issue. I can't remember, but something happened before that we couldn't finish. Th this is a bad one. This is a bad one. Thankfully, it's not really our fault i mean you could make the argument that like why would i buy something like this um it's just i mean it's wild um the one thing i wanted to check was when i was going to the bathroom i was thinking about this is so there is i think mark was talking about this earlier but there is or there are like uh i don't know if it has a special form factor but there are micro atx motherboards that are thin like thinner than this, um, which would work, but oh, there is a hole in the back here. Okay, so there is a hole in the back, a grommet. Well, it's not a grommet, but a hole for that. So they at least tried, and this motherboard is specifically only for the slim. So let so let's do a little research here before I talk smack about this because there's a chance that this case is advertised as only working for micro ATX slim cases. I don't know. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I mean, the width of micro ATX cases can change. The reason why none of us here have probably ever run into this issue before is because most cases are built to never have this problem. But maybe this case advertised that it's not for that. I don't know. Just kind of giving it the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. Let's look it up real quick. Okay, so here it is. See, the, the picture doesn't even show the holes that I'm talking about. So, like, that picture is just completely fake news. Fully tempered glass. Okay, here's some compatibility. CPU cooler height, GPU length, cooling, power supply. Wait, did it call it a dual chamber? Oh no, dual color. Yeah, not really seeing anything about the motherboard well here they have a picture of an atx motherboard that definitely ain't gonna fit <laughs> that one definitely ain't gonna work no reviews <laughs> we might be the world first purchase of this case i don't see it Oh, here we go. Is this it? No, it just says micro ATX. It even shows in this pic. Look at this. This is so bizarre. It even shows in this picture that a micro ATX. Ca Look at this. This is crazy. It shows that a micro ATX motherboard actually covers the hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's wild okay all right I, I i don't have any problems negatively reviewing this then <laughs> that's crazy 
Painful with the Fitty Bitty says it's 100% not advertised for those motherboards. I just figured they would work. Yeah. Uh, do you remember those two RAM slot boards you used? Yeah. Yeah. Those would work. The the super cheap micro ATX two RAM slot boards. Some of those would probably work. Qualsack with the Fitty Bitty says, can you give me a free PC case? Yes, you can have this. Vinny with the 100 Bitty says, never back down. Never what? Never use the seven hero case. <laughs> Good effort on the recovery. Thank you. Mori with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. It's Project Zero, dude. Yeah, I think that, that's got to be what it is. So, All right. I'm done. <laughs> ZTT After Hours is in session. We've never... We've never done an After Hours without a successfully built PC, but here we are. The bad part is... Sam is going to come into work at the ZTT HQ tomorrow, and his job is going to be disassembling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Please disassemble this PC build. No building today. Only disassembling. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to get cleaned up here. First for everything. Well, that was a fail. How's everybody else? How are you guys? Did anybody else build a PC tonight? Earning points for our giveaway build? Maybe building a PC for yourself? PC flip, maybe? Oh, oh. Oh, my God. I just dropped all these screws. Not good. Not good. My dad gave me an $1,800 for a work and editing rig. What should I get? For $1,800, you can get... Oh, you got some flexibility there. You know. Um, you could go CPU heavy with the 7800X3D and then... Uh, you could get a 7900XT in there for 1800 Somewhere around there. That would be a good starting point, at least. 7800X3D. Um, 7900XT. Graphics card. Somewhere around there is your starting point. That would work. Watch out, watch out, watch out. says, you happen to have a tape measure? I'm curious if one of those boards would work. They drop from 9.6 inches to 7. Point, uh, I, no, I, I can't. No, not right now. It's outside in the... The garage and the house is armed right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Um, I, I I can do that tomorrow though. I'll send it to you tomorrow. Um, if they do drop by 1.7 inches though, I think that would be the difference. I th I think that would work. Yeah, I think this case is just only designed for those motherboards, which is just absolutely bizarre. Never seen anything like that before, but I I think that is what the what the deal is. That's what I got. One of the tiny micro ATX motherboards. Nice. Yeah, the two RAM slots, etc. Take the top the fan watch out, watch out, watch out, in the front and put it on the ceiling of the case. <laughs> we just have like a big gap there. No, thank you. It would be fine if they actually stated that. Yeah, well, I mean, true, but like even then, like there's only ever like per chipset, like three of those motherboards. It's not like it's a popular thing. Like, why would they build a product like that? It would be ethical, yes, if they did say it, state that. But it would still be stupid, <laughs> even if they did properly state it. Uh, I already told Sam. The other thing I was worried about is, I'm sure you just saw on the when we were looking at the page, but this is advertised as a toolless case, which means the back panel doesn't have any screws. Which is actually not a good thing in my book. Because if you have any sort of bulge in the back from cables, 
you don't have screws to properly secure it. And it's just like the push down type of tab things. And I already told Sam ahead of time. I was like, hey, I'm just letting you know the cable management of this one's going to be tough. Like the, this back panel, you just push it down and hope for the best. <laughs> so when we have any sort of bulge here, it's just not going to click down. It's not good. It's not a good case. Look, is that going to stay? Right. This build is great. One of our better builds. Is the 7600X and a 3080 a good combo? I mean, if you already have a 3080 and you're like upgrading your CPU to that, like, yeah, that would be fine. I wouldn't necessarily target that right now though. If like you're building from scratch, I'll just set that there for anybody new that tunes in just so it kind of looks like we built a PC. <laughs> Thirsty Thursday, we built one. We built a PC today, it's good. Any dark green cable extensions? Not that I've seen. I'm sure there are. I've never used or needed them. The look of the case is okay. It is. That's why I bought it. It looked good on paper. Again, 80 bucks. I know it's listed at 90 now, but it was $80 fish tank with three ARGB fans. <laughs> it seemed like good value. 7700 XT and a 12600 KF. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Good 1440p build right there. Good CPU for a 1080 Ti. 5600. How about that? Tell a story from the Army days. Well, I was never in the Army. I was only in the Air Force. And on Tuesday, during our previous PC building live stream, we, we did some war stories, so I don't know if we can go back to back on the war stories. And those were probably my better war stories, so I can't top that either. I just got here, but what happened? The case is just, it's so bad. We bought a case from a brand that nobody has ever heard of before for science. Um, and it's a good thing I bought this before anybody else did. It actually stopped us from completing the build. It's so bad. It's so bad. Is the 12600KF and an RX 5700 XT a good combo for 1080p? It's a weird combo. It would be okay for 1080p, but it's a weird combo. That's too new and expensive of a CPU to pair with an old GPU. It wouldn't blow up. It would actually run 1080p. But it's too weird. I would buy a, I would buy a newer GPU to pair with the 12600K. 12600K is still good. It's really good. It's borderline current gen. Because as we know, there's not a huge difference going from 12 to 13th and especially 14th gen. So like when I hear 12600KF, like I don't think old. I think it's still pretty new. Best AM4 CPU to pair with the 6600. Um, priced performance wise, the 5500 is probably the best. Looking a little bit lo more long term, I like the 5600 better. But if you're trying to put together an ultimate pure performance, all new parts build, then the 5500 and the 6600 is a really good combo. Yeah, I really like that combo. Is the DIY PC Q3 a good case? It, it's really good for what it is. It's budget. It's DIY PC material, which is cheap, somewhat flimsy. Um, and the cable management is really bad. But for 55 to $60, it is a micro ATX dual chambered fish tank <laughs> with three ARGB fans. That part of it is really good. It's just, it's low quality, lower quality. It's good. I've used it so many times now. It's good for what it is. Best budget M.2 SSD. It always changes. SSD prices change so often 
just by a few dollars that it affects anybody answering that question. I actually just filmed a video today, a vertical video, um, explaining how to shop for the best valued M.2 SSD. So be on the lookout for that. It's just the prices change too often that you can't answer it because the pre like the price has changed by three or four bucks and then there's a new answer. Do you play an instrument? I have an electric guitar. And before I started YouTube, uh, I started learning like very casually and I'll pick it up every now and then. Like I can read uh, single string tabs. I mean, I can, I can like move up and down different strings reading tabs, but I don't like really know chords. I only know the basic chords and I can't put things together with chords. <laughs> so no, I don't play an instrument. <laughs> Griffin, you want to get some camera time? Come on, bud. You want to get some camera time during the after hours? Come tell, come show the people. Yo, I play electric guitar too. Griffin, come on. Griffin, it's been way too long since you've gotten some camera time. Come over here. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Come here. Come here, bud. Come here. You gotta get some camera time. Here, come up, come up over here, over here. Why are you wet? You haven't been outside. What's going on here? There he is. Oh, <laughs> why are you hiding? Come up here. Come up here. Show the people. Why are your paws wet? You've been inside. Oh, you've been. Ew, you've been lick. Oh my god, it's that wet from licking. Ew, his paws are soaked. <laughs> That's just from licking. <laughs> That's so gross. Oh my god, he's embarrassed. I'm sorry. Sorry, bud. He's embarrassed. He's a little camera shy. Come on, come come around this side. That way they can see you. Come on, bud. Come on. Okay, you can come up one more time. We never, we don't ever let him get up on people. There he is. There's Bud. This is my Husky Lab mix. He, his mom was a full Siberian Husky, and his dad was a Black Lab, and this is what came out. <laughs> so he, he's got like the hair and the body type of a Black Lab, um, but he has the facial markings and ear markings of a husky and he howls kind of like a husky griffin hey bud <clears throat> okay 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 you're gross <clears throat> what do you bench nothing nothing big right now man do you see the seven hero attack um I, I haven't one rep maxed on bench in easily five years. <clears throat> the highest I've ever done was my bench was always my weak point. Um, I always forget. 285. 285 was my highest. I did that in a competition. I did a competition one year to get into the 1,000 pound club. So 1,000 for... Um, benching, squat, and deadlifting, and I never did a competition again. <laughs> but that uh, that was years ago. Right now, my one rep max on bench, I would guess, is two forty, maybe. I can do two twenty five still for a few reps. I can do two twenty five, two twenty five for a few reps. Probably three or four, I would say. So whatever that converts into. Probably like 240 or so. Do you have any cool cars? Um, cool to me, but not like exotic supercars. <laughs> we just bought a a Mach E, a Mach E GT, and it. Oh my god, dude, that thing is so fun. I really, I really like it. Here, I'll show you a picture of it. Yeah. Um, the Mach E's are like the uh. It's a Mustang, but like most people don't consider it a Mustang. It's a it's Ford's crossover, uh, an EV. But we got the GT version, which is obnoxiously fast. Um, the zero to sixty is 
3.5. It's incredible. If it's just wild. Let me show you a picture of it. We just bought it like uh, three or four weeks ago. All black. Got the nice wheels. It's it's very fun. Um, my wife has been gone all week. She she actually comes back tomorrow. Um, and so this is her car. So I've been driving that uh, all week. It's so fun. The boys love going zero to 60. <laughs> Yeah, I really like it. I was calling out the Mach... It, it's so weird because I was calling out the Mach-E as soon as it launched. Uh, back in 2021, I think it was. And like, I, it was always like the only EV that I was ever interested in. My wife has always wanted an EV. But I'm not a huge EV guy. But that was the one that I was always looking at. Like every time I saw Zach, it in the road. if it's cool with you, can you rate this flip? It's about 588 used. Yeah, I'll review the flip. Thank you for the 300 bitties. Um... I was always calling out the Mach-E whenever I would see it on the road. And then just like the stars aligned and my wife just happened to get on board years later and and think that the Mach-E is awesome. Um, so yeah, that worked out well because I really like it. It's so much fun to drive. Okay. Teardrop of the 300 bitties says, can you review this flip? It's about 588 USD. All right, let's check this out. Oh, this is Australian? Okay. Ryzen 5 3600. Thermal ring silent. That's a ugly CPU cooler. That's really ugly. Um, an A520. That's very weird. Oh, ITX. Okay, that makes it somewhat more reasonable. Okay, ITX. Uh, 16 gigs of DDR4 3600. Delta, got it. Uh, one terabyte Gen 4. NVMe, that's fine. RTX 3060, 12 gig. Okay. Oh, inside the Tower 100. Nice. So all of those black components. ITX, 3600. Um, good power supply. How much did you say? 588 USD? Um... This CPU cooler is by far the worst thing in your build. That is a super ugly CPU cooler because it's not painted. Like that's going to stick out like a sore thumb because otherwise you're looking at a, a dark green build with all black components on the inside. That would actually look kind of clean, but that unpainted CPU cooler is going to look atrocious in there. But the other thing more important than that, than that is you're trying to flip a green PC. That's going to significantly limit your selling potential. Because remember, the biggest tip I can give you is to sell to the biggest audience possible. That way you have the highest chance of converting for profit. When you're trying to sell an upside down mounted <clears throat> ITX dark green PC, you are significantly cutting your audience down big time. So, I mean, I've successfully flipped for profit the 3600 and 3060. I did that somewhat recently, and that was a local flip. So it's not like I sold it on my website or anything. Um, and I made, I think it was like 150 bucks profit from that. But my build looked a little bit more streamlined. Find it. Here it is. This was my 3600 and RTX 3060 flip. All white build. You know, a build like that with a, a similar. And I even had an A520 in there like you do. Um, a build like that is pretty much the same specs as yours. And I also. You said that you paid 588. I paid 567. So we're right there at the same. We're right there at the same. But my build has a significantly higher chance of selling just because of that aesthetic is much more appealing to more people. But I mean, it's possible. You might be able to sell it. 
if it takes a, a, a minute to sell, then that's the reason why. It's just because of that color. I got mine for... I sold mine for 700 So I made 133 on that one. I mean, $700 is a pretty good price <laughs> uh, for the seller side. That's a pretty good price for a 3600 bill. Hopefully that was helpful. Manu with the 100 bit, he says, want to review the build I'm doing for a streamer? FYI, Intel works better on GTA RP on 5M versus an AMD CPU. I don't know how much of that I believe, but okay. All right, Manu. Oh, oh my God, what the? F That's way too complicated of a build for 11 o'clock at night, man. $3,000, 14,700K, all white build, Pro RS, 4080 Super, all white, in the H9 Flow, but the H9 Flow is covered in Lee and Lee Unifans. And you've got the Lee and Lee Strimmers. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. That's good. I'm not going to count up if your case fan configuration is good, but I'm, I would assume it's good. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's a good bill. It's a good bill. It's really expensive. I mean, that bill right there has... I mean, you got $270. Oh, wow, $300. You have three hundred dollars in that building, fans. <laughs> That's what these people want, though. I I've done multiple consulting builds now of people who want that. Yeah, the because you can get you can get a fourteen seven hundred K and a forty eighty super and put it in a King ninety five Pro where all of the RGB fans are taken care of. And save five hundred dollars. It's crazy. It's crazy that people are willing to pay that much for the Lee and Lee Uni fans. It's wild. Me personally, Thanks, Zach, I was only oh. planning on selling it for like sixty to one hundred. Used more than I paid for it, as M just started out and want to get a good reputation. That's definitely the good way to, the, the the right way to do it for sure. Build up that reputation before you start increasing your profit margins. Thank you for those three hundred bits. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I had my choice, I would go King 95 and save all that money, but that's not what people want. If that's what the streamer wants, then go for it. The build looks good. Otherwise. Zach, your headphones have a, your headphones have a weird, a wired version on Amazon for about $80 instead of 130. That's the version I bought recently and they're very nice and comfy. Nice. I didn't know that there was a wired version. Nice. I have an 11, 700 K with a 7,600 be an upgrade. Uh, if it is not one that I would do. Yeah. I mean, you can look it up the benchmarks. Um, if it is an upgrade, it is an upgrade. Yeah, it's definitely an upgrade via gaming, but probably not one that's big enough to matter. The 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 only time I would do that, personally, is if you are doing an overhaul from a 1080 ga 1080p gaming PC to a 1440p gaming PC, where you're upgrading both the CPU and the GPU. That would be the only time that I would really do that. But just like a random CPU upgrade out of nowhere, I would just keep your 11700 for now. Do you like my amazing combo of the 5600G and a 6800? Uh, ironically, do not. Nappy with the tier one sub. Thank you. 
Is the 7600X and an RX 7800 XT a good combo? It's an amazing 1440p combo. Yeah, absolutely can't go wrong with that. I love your YouTube shorts, says Chiz. Thank you for watching them. Did you guys see my, um, the Gen Z PC Builders Are Weak video? Did you guys see that today? I was very proud of that one. I made a video. I think it did really well on TikTok, actually. I made a video called Gen Z PC Builders Are Weak. Yeah, wow, it's at 200,000 on TikTok already. That's really good. Yes, that was fire. Yeah, so true. Felt targeted. That was a good one. I really like that one. That was really funny. Um, I threw some shade at Carter PCs at the beginning of the video, which was like meant to be the hook of the video. You know, everyone knows who Carter PCs is. Um, so I was just throwing some shade at him real quickly to paint the picture of what a Gen Z PC builder is. And that clip is probably why the video did so well. Uh, but I did send the video to Carter <laughs> before I uploaded it. <laughs> I said, hey man, like you wouldn't take this the wrong way, would you? <laughs> I was like, are you okay if I do this? And he, he said he was expecting much worse <laughs> when I told him that I was throwing some shade at him. So he was fine with it. But I did, I did run it by him first before uploading something like that. Ant Mound Sock with the 200 biddies says, yo, I'm thinking about upgrading my PC. Could you give some advi advice by chance? Also, since building this PC, I switched to a 4K 144Hz monitor. Wow. Not going to lie, I kind of want to go back to that time frame. Felt like you got useful skills. I mean, it was definitely a different world. You, I mean, objectively, like not trying to be boomer. In a world where you don't have Discord or Reddit to like ask questions and get immediate feedback, you definitely learned way more things. <laughs> like people were objectively much better troubleshooters <laughs> back in the day. And I'm sure the pre-internet people are saying the same thing about us post-internet people as well. But yeah, I mean, these, these Gen Z PC builders, they don't need to troubleshoot anything anymore. They just ask for help on Discord. That's it. All right. You're thinking about upgrading? Well, you already bought a 4K 144Hz monitor. And you think about upgrading this PC? All right. Here's my... Here's my... Um, actual advice if you're actually trying to use a 4k monitor which i don't think is a good move regardless i would rather go 1440p 165 um but if you are actually trying to game in 4k and this is your current build um ant ant mount i would sell this pc as a completed system and then build a new one to be honest because in order to get a proper 4K gaming PC, I mean, you need, what, a 4080 Super, 4090, 7900 XTX. And in order to do that, you don't want to do that on AM4. That's just too high end at this point. So you would need a new CPU, motherboard, and RAM. And a new GPU. So, if you didn't want to sell your PC... Ant Mound says gulp. If you didn't want to sell your PC, you could recycle your SSD, case, and power supply. That's it. I get upgrade consulting questions like this all the time. If you're ever in the situation where you want to do an upgrade and you can only save your SSD, case, and power supply, I would recommend not saving them and sell it as a completed system. That way you get a lot more money towards your new PC. That would be my recommendation. Nappy with the 200 bit. It's not to say that your PC is bad. Like you have a good PC. You have a really good 1080p gaming PC. But to strategically and reasonably get it to a 4K PC, 
I would just I would recommend starting over rather than building what rather than continuing that Nappy with a 200 bitty says started building PC a month ago and your videos helped me a lot keep up the good work thank you Nappy appreciate that I call diapers nappies I know people in the states don't do that uh, and I think like people in Europe call them nappies I don't know why but that just stuck for me I I, I don't say the word diaper I've only ever said nappy. So that's what I think about whenever you send the 200 biddies, just so you know. Schlumpy with the Twitch Prime sub, thank you. Don't do me like that. That's, that, that is literally all I think about when I, when I hear nappy. <laughs> Nappies here in Australia, okay. Oh wait, maybe that is Australia. Do people in Europe say nappies? Or am I just thinking Australia? Yeah, I could have been wrong on that one. First time here, I watch your YouTube. Nice. Sim racing gameplay, Wem. Dude, I got the sim racing rig within arm's reach right over here. It's right off camera. I I have a... I mean, I like our videos. We, we, we put some good work into them. And some of them I, I'm proud of. You know, like the, the one today. The, the Gen Z PC builders are weak. I'm proud of that. I, I think that was a good one. Right now we are two for two on the sim racing videos. Both of them have performed really well and way better than expected. And I've told you guys this before, but it's all an attempt to get a sim racing sponsor. <laughs> I really just selfishly want to make sim racing content so I can get a proper sim racing setup and I don't have to pay for it. That's the whole goal. But sim racing, my third video for sim racing, it should come out this weekend. That one I'm really proud of. I'm, I'm laughing just thinking about it. I think it's really good. The next sim racing video. Keep an eye out for that one. Oh, that one's pure entertainment. I hope I hope it performs well like the first two. Can you make a build using Micro Center bundles? You can. I choose not to. There's just such a limited audience that can actually take advantage of Micro Center bundles that I'm not interested in making videos like that. Unless if it's sponsored by Micro Center, then I would do it. Um, but all the PC builds I ever try to build on the channel, I try to either make them as repeatable as possible or I try to explain an alternative way to make it repeatable. You cannot repeat the Micro Center bundle deals. They are too good. <laughs> they are too good. So I don't want to make a video explaining like a build guide that only 1% of the population can repeat. That's the only reason I don't. If you live near a micro center, you should absolutely take advantage of it. The new egg bundles have been um, sneakily been doing pretty good though. And it's really weird because on new egg, it doesn't exactly tell you when you will get a bundle. <clears throat> you just notice it in your cart. So whenever I've been ordering PC parts lately, if I'm on PCPartPicker.com and it shows me that the cheapest part is available on Amazon, I will add it to cart on Amazon, but I will still also add it to cart on Newegg just to see whenever I'm done if there were any combo deals. And lately it's been like seven out of 10 times there is a combo savings that was not like readily apparent on Newegg. So keep keep an eye on it for that. Those are actually getting better for some reason. No micro center in the Bay Area. Didn't they just announce that one's coming to the Bay Area this week? <laughs> Am I wrong on that? I thought they just announced that. Yeah. <laughs> One day ago, bro. <laughs> you got to get with the times, man. Micro center returns to the Bay Area. <laughs> Later in 2024, you're welcome for the good news. I'm, imagine being online and complaining that there's no micro center next to you, and then a streamer tells you that it's coming later this year. <laughs> I envy how good you feel right now. <laughs> that must be an amazing feeling, getting that news. Oh my god. Yeah, it was announced literally yesterday. That's wild. I'm, 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 I'm jealous of how you're feeling right now. I 
have a four-year-old laptop and I want to upgrade the motherboard and GPU. Is it worth it? No. We'll do that. <clears throat> no cold crisp adult apple juice oh we did we finished it we finished it I, I i can only drink one my wife's out of town and i got a four-year-old and a two-year-old boy upstairs I, I gotta i gotta remain somewhat a not hung over uh but b you never know, man. I gotta be able to drive if if something happened. If they if this one falls out, I mean, my four year old sleeps in like a a loft bed. I think it's called like a a bunk bed. It's not a bunk bed, but he it's like a second floor bed. If he were to like fall out of there or something, I mean, it's got the side, it's got the walls. He's not going to. But if he were to fall out of there, break his leg or something. I gotta be able to take him to the, the ER right away, so, one one beer should, should be the max. Loft bed is that what they're called? Yeah, we gotta remain somewhat responsible for the boys. Sorry for repeating. I have a, I have a Ryzen five fifty six hundred G and I'm looking for a GPU. Is the RX sixty six hundred um. A good pair with it? Yeah, that would work great. Yeah, for sure. It's a good pair. $10,000 PC for your son? I mean, he's four. He, he's almost five. He's going to be... Well, he's four and a half. He's older than four. Actually, he's older than four and a half. We're getting there, man. We're getting there. We will be building a PC together soon. Maybe this year. It's crazy. It, it might actually happen this year. Build a PC with a five-year-old. I think five is probably the minimum. We'll see how he, we'll see how his motor, his fine motor skills develop at the age of five. I don't know if I would let him install a CPU just yet, but I'd, I'd let him do, I'd let him do some other things in the PC. Yeah, we're getting there. And he loves Lego Fortnite, so he, he already wants to play on PC. We've been playing Lego Fortnite here. He plays it with a controller. I do have a spare 4080 Super. <laughs> I just don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna build for him yet. We'll see. Let him pick the parts. Just let him go to the studio and just grab whatever he wants, whatever he sees. That'd be a good video. What GPU would you pair? With a 12600KF that's under $200. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't do that. The 12600K is a really good CPU. It's still re a really good gaming CPU. I would not pair a sub $200 GPU with it. Um, I mean, the, the best brand new $200 CPU that you can or GPU that you can buy right now is an RX 6600 objectively it's the best option I would not pair a 12600k with an RX 6600 I would want to get more GPU performance to balance that out <sighs> I'll trade you a new 4070 super for your 4080 super that's actually a Eh, you uh, officially have me interested. What? What's your 4070 Super? Who said that? Cheese? Either way, send me a DM. I would consider that. I would consider that. If you guys don't know, I have a, a really, really ugly 4080 Super. I've made multiple... Uh, I'm not going to be able to find it. It was a while ago. I have the 40... I have this. The 4080 Super Expert. It's so ugly. I don't want to have the debate now, but it's just an ugly GPU. It's so bad. It's so dumb. Hold on, let me find a large picture. Uh, 
Oh my god, it's so stupid. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Such a dumb card. Alright, this is the 4080 Super I have. <laughs> I would consider trading a 4070 Super for that. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. The only reason why I don't is because I use this card as a meme. <laughs> like, every single time I make a video talking about, like, just GPUs in general... Like when I was sniffing a GPU the other day, I use that GPU just because it's 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 a meme at this point. That's the only reason I'm like, even though I hate the aesthetic of it, I'm like somewhat sentimentally attached to it. But realistically, if you could trade me a decent 4070 Super for it, I'd consider it. <laughs> I would consider it, especially since I got it since MSI sent it to me. Yeah, it's a cheese grater. I'll trade you my 3080 Ti now. No. No, it's gotta be it's gotta be current gen. Not that there's anything wrong with the 3080 Ti, but I, I, I just won't be able to mentally do that. What budget motherboard would you recommend for a six hundred dollar build AM4 DDR4 micro ATX? The Azrock B450M AC R2.0. Um, it is almost always the best ultra budget B450. Let's look it up real quick. And it's got built-in Wi-Fi. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it is. I was going to say. Oh, no. It's not a great price right now, though. I mean, it's still decent. These are B450 motherboards sorted by price. It still is the best option because all of these other than this Pro VDH are the two RAM slot motherboards that we were talking about earlier. And his name is uh, but this is always the cheapest one that has built-in Wi-Fi, which is why I buy it often. I mean, it definitely doesn't have any bells and whistles or anything, but this is typically one of the best valued B450 budget micro ATX motherboards. But at $78, it's not that great of a deal. I've often sniped that at $55 and $65 on sales. But that is typically what you're looking for for a $600 bill. Teardrop with the 101 biddies. Zach, do you know a good cheap black cooler for that ITX build that I sent? Yeah, I mean, just go with a... Um, go with a Deep Cool AG400 or a UX200 from Thermal Take. or ID Cooling has an all black one, a 120 all black one. Those are like the big three right now. Yeah, go with one of those three. I, I, I've been using the, is it AG? I feel like that's not right. The Deep Cool A something 400. Is it AG400? I've been using that one a lot. I like it. It's pretty pretty good quality. It is AG400. Yeah. Yeah, $29 right now. Just go with that one. $29 with a $5 promo code. Just all black. 3-pin ARGB. Good to go. That's all I need. That'll look much better than the unpainted heat sink that you have. Much better. <clears throat> Beautiful cooler. Yeah, it's clean. Is the AG400 a good pairing with the 12600KF? Ah, I don't know. That's borderline. I don't know. Probably not. I mean, the AG400 is a budget CPU cooler. The 12600KF can put out heat. Probably not. I, it depends. I wouldn't flip with it. For a personal build, you might be able to tolerate the higher temperatures. But I would I would guess it's not a great combo. 
12600 KF can get a little toasty. And it's a powerful CPU. Like we've said like three or four times on this stream already. What CPU for a 4070 Super? 7600X. That's, that's my go-to mid-range build pick right now. What should I upgrade to if I have a 3070 Ti and a 7600X? I would only consider upgrading to a 4080 Super, honestly. Your 3070 Ti is still really good. So I would only recommend upgrading if it's a significant leap. And in order for you to get a significant leap from a 3070 Ti, which is good. I mean, we're talking 4080 super minimum in my book. So more than likely, just enjoy what you have <coughs> for right now and then wait for 5,000 series. Why are we all still awake? What time is it? 11.30. Yeah, we're going to have to end this. I got to go to bed. I got to watch one more episode of Formula One Drive to Survive. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And then I can go to bed. So that's a half hour. <laughs> oh my God. Ghosted with 100 biddies. Thank you. Who's, who has a show right now that they watch almost every night before bed? Right now, I'm alternating bet between Formula One Drive to Survive and the new Fallout show. Who else has a show that they're consistently watching right before bed? Fallout. Yeah, Fallout's really popular right now. It's good. I'm only one and a half episodes in, but I like it so far. Yeah, it, it took me three. <laughs> this, is, this is boomer alert right here. It took me three nights to finish episode one of Fallout. And the, pr the reason why that's bad is because I really enjoyed the show. <laughs> it's not like I was struggling because it was like so boring or something. I just, I kept passing out. <laughs> it took me three nights to finish episode one. I feel like I've been watching it for a while, but I'm currently one, 1.5. I'm 1.5 episodes in, but also five nights of watching it in. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I binged Fallout in 2.5 days. Yeah. Bin binging TV shows is not a thing anymore. Although, no, I can't say that. Because when I got the stomach virus three weeks ago, I watched an entire... I watched Gran Turismo, the movie, and then the entire first season of Formula One Drive to Survive in a day. <laughs> yeah, so never mind. I have binged recently. But that was only because I was deadly sick. In bed. Probably gonna rewatch it. Is that good? Big Bang Theory? I had a Big Bang Theory phase. I saw. Uh, is his name Jim? What's. What's the Big Bang Theory's main actor name? Parsons? Is that, am I thinking of the right guy? Yeah, Jim Parsons. I saw Jim Parsons on Broadway. He does other things, not just like quirky, nerdy TV show stuff. I watched a play of his on Broadway. It was pretty wild. Uh -uh. Isn't the best budget gaming setup a console these days? Price to performance wise, unless if you know what you're doing, a console is going to be better at like the three to four hundred dollar range. Yeah, the PC builds that I make for the YouTube videos, they're better. They'll give you better performance, but I mean, realistically, you just you have to know what you're doing. A casual first time PC builder trying to put together a four hundred dollar build, most likely a console is going to beat it. Most likely. Unless if you follow a tutorial. Then it's, it's definitely possible to be better. Do you watch anime? No. I've tried so many times. I've, I've tried. I, I've probably... I'm, I've probably watched 10 different anime shows at this point. N nothing has ever stuck. Nothing. 
I've tr I've gone through phases. I've made videos about anime. I've 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 been asking for anime recommendations for years. There's not a single one that I sit down and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get through this season. I don't know why. Cause like I really really like some of the art styles. Like I'll I'll, I'll see like a video of an anime or like a meme of an anime, and the art style alone for some of them, not all. of them, for some of them, I'm like, oh my god, like, it, I, I love that. Um, like, the cyberpunk. The cyberpunk anime? It's it's so, like, just cool looking. I really, really like it. I can't watch it. I can't watch it. I don't know why. It just doesn't click. My brain just doesn't work. What case is that, Zach? Do not buy it. The reason why it's sitting here not built is because the case is so bad. <laughs> don't buy it. It's from a brand called Seven Hero. You 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 won't even be able to find it. Don't worry. Budget AM4 motherboard. I, I see you keep spamming that. You started spamming that literally while I was answering that question. That's why I didn't answer it again. I literally just answered. What's the best budget AM4 motherboard? Did you watch Hunter X Hunter? No. But console is only for gaming. I don't know how many people. I don't know how people compare console and PC prices, while a PC is really more capable. I think, honestly, that's a boomer logic. I thought that as well. And every single time I say something like that, there's so many kids responding, explaining how many things you can do with a console, like plug in a keyboard and mouse and like go to an internet browser. I think there's a lot more young people these days using their consoles as computers and like using apps, not just for gaming, YouTube, Netflix, etc. That wasn't popular during back in the day. Um, but I think, I think it's way more popular now with the younger kids. Explicit with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. But you can't really work on a console though, so it depends on the use case. Yeah, I mean I'm not I'm not like necessarily defending consoles. But there are other perspectives that us PC gamers don't think about or don't know. cheap white cooler for the 12 600 kf we were talking about how the ag 400 is probably not good enough the ag 500 though i would consider it the ag 500 is a nice white cooler 35 bucks that might be good enough for a 12 600 k i don't know though i would think so it's a little bit beefier than a 400. <laughs> Super clean, all white, 35 bucks. That'd be a good one. Could be a good one, I should say. Can you use a console for graphic designing? I doubt it. Unless if you can do it on the on the web, like in a browser. More beef, more transfer heat. Exactly. All right. I'll answer one more question. And then I got to go to bed, guys. One more good one. His name is John Cena. One more good one. And I got to go. I got to go watch some Netflix and go to bed. Pass out. All right. What do you got for me? Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Aldo with the uh, tier one sub. Thank you. I need a good one here. When does the giveaway end? In May. That's not a good one, though. Zach, can you wish me good night? Nope. Can't do that either. Tacos or pasta? Um, That's not a good one. <laughs> did you get your boys ice cream yet? I did. I, I talked to Vinny about it. I sent the picture in the... If you guys aren't in the ZTT Discord server, type in exclamation point Discord right now. Join the server. 
We just hit 40,000 members in there. There's a ton of people. I'm in there every single day. We got a lot of super smart people. We got tech support channels. We got PC flipping channels. We got PC uh, advice channels, setup advice channels. We got everything that you need in the world of PC building. Uh, but for some extracurriculars, one of the channels is the dad channel. And I posted the picture of um, buying ice cream for my boys, courtesy of Vinny from the Tuesday stream. So we got you. Uh, but other than that, all right, guys, I'm going to take the rest of the night uh, to myself and, like, stay alive for, like, five more minutes, and then I'll probably pass out. Thank you guys very much for tuning into this episode of Thirsty Thursday. We do have a new video, very interesting video about Facebook Marketplace and PC flipping coming out as a long-form video tomorrow. Uh, so for those of you that are interested in that, I would, I would recommend it. Um, and you guys might have some insight as to what's going on as well. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys whenever we do the next stream. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much for the support. Um, to everybody that did all those crazy biddies and donos and um, the subs and gifted subs and whatnot, super chats. And even if you just sat there uh, and patiently waited through all of those ads, Thank you very much because those ads are what fund the stream and makes it possible. So I really appreciate your ad viewership. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. I know nobody's here, but uh, I just realized that I missed 100 biddies from Monkey with a Machine Gun. He says, vertical video idea. Take the seven hero case to the shooting range. Appreciate the idea. All right. I'm out of here. See you guys.